Welcome, my friends, back to Marvel Snap. We're in the waiting room for Cannonball. Ooh, I'm excited for this guy. Me and Brad both picked him as one of our top cards releasing this season. See uh, how things really pan out for us. I think he's probably going to be the worst card this season. I also think he's still going to be good, which um, is, a, is his claim to fame here. Is he maybe going to be the best worst card of all time? We shall see, we shall see. Ooh, okay. That's actually amazing for us, being able to go Elsa Kitty right here. Right here, right now. I'll go for that. Lock it in. X-Men Bounce has been super fun. Hey, Edward, how's it going? Great to see you, man. What do you think, uh... Is Cannonball the weakest card this season? And is he maybe the best card to be the weakest card of a season? I mean, we'll have to see once he's in our hands. But that's my call right now. I'll try you. You go Collector, you discard. I buff you. Then I pick up so many little things. But I'm able to play Nico, so the next squirrel I play turns into a demon. That sounds pretty good to me. Yo, Eduardo. How's it going? Thankfully, the Discord bot is back up and running. Great. You don't see it, Ed? Okay. Here's the thing. They've actually been nerfing him, like, continuously through all the data mines. He started out at a better stat line and a better ability, and now he's been nerfed all the way down to the point where, um... He, he initially would always put a rock on their side of the board. And now it's only if you destroy the card do you get the rock. They think he's too powerful. They're trying to hold him back. Let's put the buff on the squirrel. I know it's a little weird. And then honestly, let's just cut this squirrel because uh, I'm not going to use it. I guess I might. Yo, Rich! Never stop supporting Teddy. Member for 16 Team months. Teddy grows stronger. It's been a while, my friend. Great to see you. Great to see you. Ooh. He's confident. The problem is Hellfire Club doesn't allow me to play any of my one costs, which are absolutely my bread and butter, so then we have to win on other locations. Not that we can't do that, but it is certainly slowing us down. Let's see what we get. In the office Tuesdays, now harder to catch the streams. All good, mate. All good. I am going to be trying to open up some other stream days. Odebert Money with the Prime Sub. Let's go. This is a hot start to the stream. You guys are amazing. Okay. Okay. Do we have a chance? I don't think we really do. It would be something like this, 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 but now is when he just plays uh, Modoc, right? Yeah. Oh, discard goddess. Cannonball plus Hercules? <laughs> move it and move it again. Truly, if we just continue to play bad cards, eventually they become a good deck. It would be hilarious. That might be one of the funniest things you could possibly see, right, Veladicris? You would be able to dictate where that card would move to, kind of, but I guess Hercules could move it straight back to where it came from, which would be the problem. What does Cannonball do? Cannonball tries to move the highest power card that your opponent has at the location to a new location. If it cannot move at all, that card will be destroyed and replaced with a rock. So it very much favors a locked out, junked up board if you want to get the destruction. If you just are able to lock down one lane to your advantage, Cannonball should just get you the win by knocking their best card away. Woof. I mean, I'd probably do something like this. I don't know about the Falcon yet. We'll try this. Yeah, junk deck. Junk deck or a lockdown deck, right? Because if I could use, like, Polaris and Debris, maybe even Titania, 
to clutter up one of their lanes very early. Okay, and we both go right. Yes, he's uh, guaranteed to kill Blob. Ah. Uh, what are you playing, Troller? What are you playing and how am I being beaten by it? Azmat. Excuse me? What in the world? Uh... I will play... Bishop? Over here? He'll keep scaling, so we'll collect dirt, so we'll everything based on Mer Island. I hate filling it up, but I want to be able to use Beast next turn on something over here. The man is cooking for sure. Have I seen Pokemon is coming out with a mobile card game? That's not the full TCG, mobile only. I am very excited. We are also getting, um... Alatro on mobile. Very excited for that. Ooh, Master Mold just helping us out here. That's nice. Why, she probably plays Eliath, right? I mean, why not? She plays all kinds of other weird stuff. Okay. <laughs> and he just leaves. He's ranked 345. What is he doing? Bolatro is a roguelike, psychedelic version of uh, poker uh, by a solo dev who has absolutely knocked it out of the park. It is, it is crazy and it is great. DC Dual Force Discord closed the other day. Ah, it is kind of sad. At the same time, there's rumors that Second Dinner has. Uh, or is going to be acquiring this year a second IP to be able to play with. He seems like a low CL player. He's ranked 345. <laughs> if a low CL player made rank 345, my hat is off to you, sir. Yeah, DC Dual Force was gone a little while ago. But it was sad. It was sad to see it go. There were such high hopes. That was, um, honestly, one of my bigger videos was, like, off the announcement of DC Dual Force. Ooh, you demon. Ooh. I will play the demon here, and then I'll just play you for kicks. I do, I would like them to work with Star Wars way more, uh, but we'll see what they get. Yeah, DC Dual Force just didn't quite hook me. The beta and like the like the very, very early moments were fun when you could like theory craft just wild stuff, but once people kind of figured out that these cards were OP, they just uh, ran the table with everything else. I would like another collector. I would also like to continue playing demons forever. But I should probably beast Nico back. I think this is the right move. Can't make a successful card game that's wildly unbalanced. Yep. This is why I should make my own card game. Hey, with AI art, it's not so far out of reach of like a solo designer to be able to do. You just have to have unlimited free time, which I do not have. Play this, play this, play this. I mean, you're free now, but you like, you do nothing. You move a card, I don't, I guess then I would just tell you to move this card, which I don't care about. You have Dad's Fantasy Flight just launched their physical game. Yeah, but does Fantasy Flights have any digital rights? The digital market and the physical market, while they do overlap, is not a perfect overlap.
True, Nico could have moved the demon to the side, but I already have two demons. The problem is that he has two Dakins. And with the double Dakin, they pop off to be both be 16, right? 32, so they'll beat me here. Uh, tough. Maybe you do this. This? Up 10? How many are in your hands? 7? Oh. It means you each go up by 12 when he plays Modok. So if he plays Modok... He has not snapped for some reason. Fifteen. Twelve. Alright, just because you haven't snapped, I'll see it. And this is Modog, right? Yep. Uh. Just a shy snapper. I guess so. Should have been able to do it though. He was so far ahead of me on that Modoc play. I don't know though. They don't do digital products for their games, so I don't know what they can do and what they just don't do. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's true. Like, X Wing. Man, if they had ever made a proprietary X-Wing license, that would have gone crazy. Instead, you have to play on Tabletop Simulator or with, um... There's like a... Another fan-made version of X-Wing. But it's EA that has the digital licenses. But now EA is no longer exclusive, so... That's why I think Snap could do it. Well, I guess they didn't have mobile licenses anyway, because Woga was from somebody else. That guy, good to see you. They have drawn Modok on the last turn. That's true. And didn't want a boomer snap. I mean, it works out. You just take the two cubes instead of the one, so you double your winnings. I'll play you. Ahmed, good to see you, man. Always a pleasure to have you on the streams. Perfect, we got the Elsa. Hi, Evo. Hmm, interesting. I do like the card duplication, especially on Kinney Pride when you've got Elsa Bloodstone. Let's try her. And this way, Nico should duplicate the buffed version of the card. So she'll be at three. This one will be at four. Ah. I was kind of hoping for something special here out of their deck, like the She Hulk or the Hulk. Wouldn't have high hopes if Second Inner got Star Wars. The game. Uh, maybe different than what drove you... Oh, drove you away would probably still be there. I mean, who knows? Okay, fish. Kitty. Okay. That was going to be so much fun. Double Kitty Brides. Dueling it out. Bounds Hope is just evil. Yeah, kind of is. What decks do I have planned for Cannonball? We are going to be playing a junk deck and a lockdown deck 
is going to be the starter ideas. Uh, the lockdown deck is probably, I mean, I might have Pro X. We'll see, we'll see, because you can also do a hybrid of the two. So that'll probably be the three lines. Is you do junk, you do a lockdown, and then you do the hybrid Renslayer Pro X goblins. That why did I have to get Power Stone, the worst one? Okay, play this. Wangan Ball. True, you could hit two cards, or you could go um, Absman to be able to pop off twice. That would be very funny. I'm gonna put the... You're not a Thanos deck, you just got Mind Stone. You have six cards in hand, I have five. That means you did draw something, but not two cards. You drew one card. I play... I wonder if I want to go Hood here, though. I think I do on the opportunities for returning the cards. Here we go. Definitely think they've developed different ways to monetize, and starting from scratch could be good for a snap model. Yeah, they would be able to avoid some of the false starts. At least I would hope so. Stuff like the uh, Nexus events. Wouldn't have to go through that again. And if they have... Uh, the problem is that I really don't want to see Snap Victory. development go on any kind of hiatus. Like, Snap needs to keep on trucking forward with new features. And then, uh, I don't know when Second Dinner ever gets, like... They'd have to get a whole new team to work on the new game, I feel like. I mean, maybe... I think the game could do fine, like, Snap... If Ben Brode took a, a new team and then started working on something else, I think Glenn and the crew that's already with Snap could keep it running. The Wong Gambit Cannonball deck. <laughs> Either destroy all your cards or I move them away. Yeah, he would have to get a whole new team if he was to design a new game, because Snap is not in a position to just, like, put a pause. Snap needs guilds and new game modes, new cards, everything. Bug fixes. The list of known issues gets longer and longer every single patch. Long Cannonball would be an insta-lane win. It would be an insta-lane win, it's just, uh... uh I don't know. Turn three, we shuffle. Okay. Ah. We shuffle a lot of sentinels, I see. I get your rock slide. Kind of nice. Also... Yeah. I'm not going to play. He's probably going to play here to deny the card draw. But the card draw doesn't help, because... Adelan. Snap is still in its beginning stages, it's only over a year old. Uh, depends on how you see the betas, right? But yeah. We cannot return here. So if I wanted to beast anything, it would have to be here. It would kind of have to be now. I mean, I guess, yeah, I'll beast the rock as well, make it free. Then I can reposition and play somewhere else in a sec. You're like, so... What are you doing? If you're Ronin, then... Are you just Ronin? Why do we have the Korg and the rock slide? If you're Hawk, you don't want Max. I'm just confused. After you play your next card, give it plus two power. Alright, little rock. You're gonna be the best little rock there ever was. That's a very early Shang. Are there any really known characters missing as cards in Snap? 
Well, Sylvie is, uh, is a pretty big one. There are plenty of fan favorites that are not in the game yet. This is crazy. If he plays, uh, he probably just plays Dr. Doom, hey? No, no. Hang on. Oh, we still got it. <laughs> uh, the Alive is so weak. So he's technically an Enchantress variant, I believe. Nah, but she's like got her own name. Is the idea that she's just Enchantress? I think there's a chance they add Sylvie after making the Loki and Enchantress variants. Yes, uh, because like Falcon has a Captain America variant. So the characters that like take on and like different characters have like the Phoenix Force variants. Like they, they have variants that represent them as other titles, not just their own cards. She should get her own card, though. I think she should get her own card. It would just be fun. David, how's it going, man? Because they moved Marvel to this week, you're going to be unlocking Cannonball regardless of his power. There we go. I mean, yeah, it's a great time to be able to get that Ms. Marvel. And the, um, the Kitty Pride variant? I don't want the moving locations anymore. I want... The problem is that Cable fills in, I don't get card draw. Could play Hope, and then play like Kitty Demon Beast kind of trick. Let's do this. What's my favorite card in the game, David? Oh, it's definitely the Hood. The hood is my favorite card. It's just so dynamic. How you try and mitigate the negative three and then how you can use the demon. I love it. It is true, there are like infinite X-Men. To be able to keep adding to the game. Connor, how's it going, man? Looking forward to seeing what we brew up with the cannonball. Oh yeah. Blast, good to see you. Had fun with Mockingbird this past week. She's been doing great in your Patriot deck. Uh, yeah, I think uh, she's like immediately one of the best cards in the game. And it's insane how good she is. Did you discard? Black Cat and Infinot. The Infinotalus. Have I already used the Nico location spell? I forgot. I was not keeping track until Limbo showed up and then I immediately start keeping track. We need a Dormammu. Ooh, Dormammu would be hype. Very hype. Okay. Oh, we hit. Now to uh, ruin my man's whole career. I think you do something like this? Well, hang on. Normally you want to keep playing cards to the location before you change the location, and then you change the location last. I'm pretty happy with this. Kill the Magneto, take away Limbo, shorten their time span. I just don't get to take away Limbo as a surprise on the final turn, but this still feels pretty good. And we took away their Black Knight, which is nice. Got the bird with only one key. You're the winner. You're definitely the winner. Did anybody just check out the Acolyte trailer? So happy to see Carrie Ann Moss. Ooh. I have not... I don't think I've seen the trailer. Oh! What?
Does it end? I don't think it ends, does it? No, it doesn't end. We gotta play it out here. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, uh, he could just hella now. He has no cards in deck. How did you get to draw so much? Oh, Olympia. Dang it. I forgot about Olympia. I don't think there's any way we win. Maybe I actually should have waited on Shang. Ah, boo, boo. Escaped. Celestials, Dormammu, several symbiotes. You're right. We need the symbiotes. There's other spider family. There's everybody from Eternals. We're getting the Thunderbolts coming in. My favorite deck is Bounce. Um, I like Bounce, I like Thanos, I like Loki. I kind of play whatever is good. Right now I'm playing a little bit off meta with Bounce just because they did the imbalance patch where I'm getting the buffed all the X-Men in Bounce. So that brought it back for me, but I don't normally play it. At least not these last couple seasons. We need a Prowler. Ooh, there we go. Prowler to go with Miles. No cards are revealed. Okay. Do this. X-Men Surfer for the imbalance. Yeah, that can, that can party as well. I want Bishop. Cloning Bishop when you have demons to keep playing generally works okay. What's my favorite deck to play in the game? Um, I mean, of all time, it's like uh, Ms. Marvel Eliath. Might be where we're going with Cannonball. Spoilers. I also like Hazmat. Hazmat's just really fun. Hmm. Luke Cage. Hazmat. Would you look at that? Play you. Play you. No, I don't think I play this bishop. I play this Elsa. I play this demon. Gets cloned with the buff. We go from there. Why Why wouldn't you play Hazmat over here to be able to get the repeat, though? If they want to go for the spider cards all the way, they would have cards for ages, but Spider Noir would be cool to see. Oh, yeah. That's the thing, the, the Marvel catalog, or the Marvel Pantheon, is All so big. There's endless possibilities of what they could keep on pulling in. Okay. So, we play... Uh, Cable... Collector... Demon... Kitty? I think you didn't clone Hazmat. You're not going to be able to repeat the Hazmat unless you play Odin, which would be very odd. You've already shown your Annihilus. You do have another demon. There he is. So this buffs my collectors. Ah, Mockingbird would have been amazing. You play, you buff. You play, you buff, and you play, you buff. We win these. Victory. Nice, nice. Yeah, white cable first? I wasn't thinking. 
That's why. I'm in my, my 400 ranks form, not my top 100 ranks form. This is why we warm up before we get the new cards. Different archetype has to be bounced no matter what. The shell is always so skillful to pilot. It is always a very interesting shell to pilot. Man, I am just so sad that we lost Forge. Because the Forge Nico tricks were so much fun. As it is, I don't know if Nico is like justifies a spot in the deck anymore. Feels crazy to say. Am I streaming on Twitch and YouTube? Yes, I am. Okay, well, the lake is just really, really good for us. I go Collector, Bishop. And then get the Elsas moving. Elsa Falcon plays. Forge was too much an issue for Destroy. Yeah, it was, but I wish it could have stayed and bounced somehow. But at a two cost, it just doesn't quite fit the way you want it to. Hmm. Interesting. I could go Hood Nico, which would allow me to go like Demon Beast. But I really want to set up my Bishop and my Elsa as well, rather than just cloning demons. So let's do this and play it straightforward. I think Nico's your favorite card after Hood. Man got dethroned. Nico is definitely one of my favorite cards right now. A hundred percent. I love the Nico. Captain America on Onslaught Citadel. What are we? I have to remind myself what pool I'm playing in. I mean, it could just be Elsa Kitty, but being able to demonize the hood is so good and then you can beast them back for free i don't get a card draw but that should be fine try it all right so you're not competing for olympia i just have to be able to compete on mid nico is so versatile yep it's just a little inconsistent edward rallying the likes for the stream it helps us out a lot guys Uncle Ben, MJ, Jameson could even bring in their alter egos as characters like Peter Parker, Norman Osborn, Tony Stark, etc. That would be interesting if you got the cards and their alter egos with like some kind of synergy baked in between them, right? That would be so cool. Okay, so you do Elsa, then you play Kitty, then you play Nico. Nico gets the buff. The next card you play doubles her after she has received said buff. So you would do this but then actually it would be better if you played Elsa over here and did this 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 and then you're free right now so I would go ahead and play you I'd like you to be here too you need to go here so I don't play you I just end David MD3 thank you for the sub man thank you Shang is Warpath All in due time, my friends. All in due time. You're buffed. You double. From four to eight. To be at ten. He is going to hit the Ant-Man. It might be sneakier just to go all in here, right? Once we wing his Warpath. Because he has to play here if he wants the dub. And I'm still getting the doubling. Lucky Black Cat with the Prime Resub. Let's go, Team, Team Teddy. Teddy grows stronger. 
Great to see you. Here we go. Clap, clap. Yeah, I think keeping up on Lake Hellas was going to be impossible. Oh, with the claw. Ah. Dang it. Just a little more juice. Mm. Too bad. JJ should be minus two for every Spider Man on the board. That'd be hilarious. Spider Man, the city menace! I thought I read JJ making your emotes ruder, unless that was a joke. It was on April 1st, if that's what you're asking. Card deck. Ah, destroy and draw. I normally like that so much. But I think you just do something like this. Leave one space open because we have Shang. I mean, I guess it could just be this. That way we're trying to draw to be able to get Shang to hit him then maintain the Hulk advantage. I guess I could have moved and Nico over, but this way I get to return Nico with Falcon. Nah, I don't know. Pop, pop, pop. Now we play Hope Kitty, I think. Love how you got Ms. Marvel and Mockingbird in the same spotlight last week, and now they moved her over. That was a glitch on when or whether or not you were updating your app. Play this, this. Deal our way into their hearts. Avalanche could be a good character too. Make even more rocks, oh that'd be fun. 8 bar, how's it going? Good thing that I got Shang and they don't. Exactly. Their deck never runs it. Wow. Just plays Proxima direct. Going to Corvus. Bold. Bold choices. 50-50 chance we draw Shang right here. Right here, right now. Come on. Right here, right now. Please, oh please. No. <laughs> Rejection. You have discarded Magneto and Apocalypse, so I don't... I don't understand. Yep, that's what I thought. Victory. How is the new Elsa been working out for people? Barely playing. You're barely playing the game at the moment. New Elsa is fine. Not being a two cost means that she's not as blatantly OP as she was before, but she's kind of bringing some of the bounce. Silky, like, Silky Move is not fully back, but it's playable again. They should do more X-Men like Pyro. Yeah, there's actually some big X-Men that are not in, right? Or at least not yet. I think Pyro has been data mined, but they don't yet have an ability that they fully want to launch. Is it just you or is Shang not as common as it was before? Um, Shang is very common. There's just a couple decks that have decided that they can be very arrogant and not run it. Like Destroy doesn't run it, Discard doesn't run it. But pretty much everything else that's meta will. Play the next card and make it a demon. I like that. Can I actually Iceman you back to make your costs matter? I don't I don't know. But I'll make Beast a demon.
I have seen some people run this deck, but instead of Shang, they use Valkyrie, which I think is interesting. I, of course, my, I like my version better, but... Yeah. Another discard deck. Who would have thought? Is Jump, when we get Cannonball here in 15 minutes, going to be good against Discard? It's going to be good against Thanos. I don't know. Modok. Okay, the fact that you lost the Modok is very good for us. We lost our demon though. Too bad. Play the bishop here. It'd be nice to draw the hood to get another demon back. Officially made it above 1,000 hours on stream. Not even counting your closed beta hours. Oh, on Steam. Nice, nice, nice. I have made it to... 2,090 hours. And that's not counting my mobile gameplay. Also moving to Germany in a week from now. Excited and scared at the same time. Blask, wishing you the best on the move. My uh, younger sister spent some time in Germany and loved it. So I'm hoping that you will too. Chang's still top 10 in popularity, always has been. Yeah. Chang's still like number one in popularity. He's crazy, man. He's crazy. Okay, so you went with Drac here. Kind of intrigued by that. I hate the hood draw so late in the game. You have only discarded Modok. But you also discarded what? A Apocalypse? I could play this and just hope that your Dracula is not going to be big enough, basically. Because this probably going to be able to keep up. You know what? Sure. Show me, show me for two cubes what you got. Plays mid. It is Helicarrier. Eats Proxima. Proxima goes left. Beats me by one. Ah! Hood! Why? If you were literally any of the other cards in the deck, we would have won. Harishar, thank you for the sub. Thank you, man. Guess you haven't been seeing as many in the matches. Well, if you've been playing a lot of discard, you're not going to see very much of it. Banshee, Lockheed, Longshot, I think are the remaining classic X-Men team members that we're missing. Isn't Lockheed just Kitty's Dragon? So it would be nice. You've got uh, Devil Dino and Moon Girl, so I guess you should have Kitty and Lockheed, right? I know, lucky you. I hope that it stays that way, that you don't see as much Shang. It's always frustrating. Just got your language certificate yesterday, so language won't be a problem. By saying you got your language certificate, do you actually feel confident in speaking German, Blask? We do have Sunspot already. Yeah, we don't have Banshee yet. Yeah, we'll have to get an update on how the move goes, Blask. Wishing you the best. Oh, Sunfire? Sunfire, gotcha, gotcha. That makes more sense. I think I just play Giddy here. Oh, we've just been spinning our wheels, haven't we, on rank? I mean, that's fine. We're playing a little off meta. Just to be able to hold a spot in the top 500 feels fine. Ooh. I think we both run Hood. Which is going to make this weird. The guy who was always almost joining the X-Men, but then would just have to go back to Japan. <laughs> uh, you can have like short conversations, no problem in German. Well, there we go. I'm sure that once you're over there with that as a base, you'll be able to pick up even more. Why would they play this here? 
they have to be picking it up, right? Right? They have to be ready to pick it up here. I want to see a creature deck in snap based around sentinels. Creature deck in snap based around sentinels. Okay, so... The sentinels are not good would be the first problem there. Please play in so that I have something that can get shanked. Oh, you're saying with like Nimrod Master Mold? Interesting. I mean, maybe there's something for you. Okay, they didn't play yet. We are required to go Iceman here for sure. Probably play you as well. Then I would say we should pick the boys up. Get them all buffed up. Go ahead, play this while it's free. And drop the demon as well. Okay, our turn is way stronger than theirs, that's for sure. Double Iceman on hand of three cards, that can hurt. Especially if they're also running Shang. Picks him up twice, and now Nika will buff him twice. But just under Shang range. Perfect. Nika, what other good spells do you have for me? Moving is not a good spell, Nico. Disappointing. But... I mean... We're probably fine. Just hit him with this again and then... You do this number. Get as many Elsa buffs as you can. Did they snap or did I snap? I feel like... They snapped? Do I snap back here? They're unranked. Maybe they just play this one. We hit him with the QD mote to make him go on. Watch. He plays Killmonger. <laughs> you imagine? Ah! What the heck? Who are you? <laughs> uh, no way. The criminally insane. Add the effect that sentinels get plus one power for each other sentinel. Would you want to see them start at 2-2 two, two then, though? They'd probably have to start at like 2-2 two, two with the growing power. Okay. No more Mr. Nice Teddy. We gotta make the cubes back. Is a Joker had mental problems? Look at this guy playing Killmonger Bounce. It was crazy. Okay, Mount Vesuvius, you need to project weakness. And then come, this guy's running Electra. First Killmonger and now Electra? I mean. 
Okay. Second dinner, this is how you get the conspiracy theories that you match people up against counter decks. This is how you get conspiracy theories. <laughs> the fact that I called the Killmonger play hurts even more. Eh? I'll do this, pick him up. So this is where we have to decide if we're going to accept the Mount Vesuvius. I think I do, like, but with this scaling on mid, this extra energy rolling over, I have no idea what this was supposed to be. Nothing that he's playing looks too threatening. I know, is it a conspiracy theory? Well, when uh, you hit a Killmonger then right into an Electra, it certainly doesn't feel like a theory. And Carter Sharpie with all the uh, the hit characters here. Ahmed, who's your top character that you want to see come in that's not in the game yet? They're flipping first. So we could go just for max power or we could play Shang to hedge our bets. The thing is, I don't see this deck running something that is like Shangable. I just don't. So then I want to play something like so. And I could play you, technically playing you as an advantage, right? Because it's negative one after the Elsa buff and then it's plus one on the Bishop and plus one on the Collector coming out to plus one overall. You want to see Hyperion? Oh, that would be sick. Ben is just sitting there clicking buttons, choosing what deck you get to play against. He's like looking at my list. Ooh, a lot of one costs. Here's a random Killmonger in the bounce deck you're going to face. Ooh, you're still playing that same deck. Well, this guy runs Electra. Cha-ching. <laughs> Good luck, Teddy. Wish you the best. Try the Elsa 2.0 deck? What is this deck? Squadron Supreme would be a fun theme for a month. Ooh. Do I think Snap will ever do crossovers? Like like Capcom or other comic companies? I don't know the legality of any of that. Ah, oh, we could have shanged. We could have shanged. But we got it anyway. They run Spider Woman? People do be brewing. I know that's what I was gonna. I was waiting for somebody to say Big Wheel. We have to get Big Wheel, man. <laughs> if we get Big Wheel. Well, I feel like there might be some of these characters that, like, Second Dinner has just decided they will never do. Like, I came from Swoga, so Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, a hero collector, and the community wanted Porkins so bad but the developers on multiple points were just like sorry we're never making porkins is my mmr that bad when i hit infinite when on day one with a 70 percent win rate and still ending up sub 2k on the leaderboard no it just means that other people play the game a lot more than you do blast like just raw time commitment the tryhards are beating you out so day one with a 70 on day one to be 2k do you like do you goof off once you're infinite and you only try hard to get to infinite is that what the story is blask phaser phase yes <laughs> uh, yeah i don't really see how the crossovers would work with this game like it'd be cool maybe second dinner can find a way to be able to get some crossover characters in but um the thing is that they would just like stay mainstays like to make cards that people would you know monetarily support they'd have to have them in their collection forever and then you'd have some like weird things just always floating around right snowman thank you for the follow thank you very much appreciated support for the stream goes a long way for us i don't necessarily goof off but i don't play that serious that's probably what it is 
is you just tank your MMR so hard once you're infinite that then even your tryhard climb is still... I don't want to say damaged, because obviously you're having fun with the game and you're a very capable player, but like your rank is damaged by that line of play. I wanted to fill Sacred Timeline here, so I got the second Elsa. So now we just kind of go insane, right? I don't know about this hope. I definitely do this kitty. That will now get double buffed. The question is, do we play this hope summers, or do I play like this to get this kitty double buffed as well? And I think you get this kitty double buffed as well, is the go-to. That way we're getting the most out of Elsa's. We're still getting a Hope Summer's energy bump up. I could... Play you instead. You are technically more powerful. Okay, let's do this. This way we stay incredibly flexible because all the powers in the Kitty Brides. Any info on the OTA update? Ooh, good question. The, I will warn you that if there is info, I will not be able to share it. But... I can see if I got any info. Okay, so they got their multiple man. I should focus. I can demon up. Which is quite good. Problem is I can't put the demon here. But I guess I just want this kitty here anyway. Pop, pop. Play you. Turn you into a demon. I flip first. I guess. I love all the fire effects, right? Fire! 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 If I do you, and then do you down here. I'm gonna play it. The double Elsa, I think, could be what, what puts us up. Can't even think about crossovers, because there's like... A gajillion Marvel characters that we haven't seen in Snap. Yeah. Okay. What were your big hidden plays here? How do you draw this back from two multiple men on the board against my full army? Ghost Spider? Okay, so that pulls one multiple man. Cute, cute. And he goes back. And now what? Zola. But this is just gonna pull Zola? <laughs> Nothing? It's not gonna pull anything? Hang on. Victory. Why? Oh, because... Okay, okay, okay. She... Zola was not done playing, so she can't pull Zola. The last card played was herself, which was destroyed. Yeah. Even if he'd hit the multiple mans, I still win. I'm surprised he played that one, man. We got that one. Is an OTA today? I don't think so. Do I still play any Swoga? I do not. Just got Galactic Legend Ray, so you're loving the game right now? I did have Ray, and man, that felt good. You were... You were a god walking among the mortals there when you had her. Alright, guys. She was throwing the Hail Mary. It's time. Ooh. Adored ones. Ooh, these look so good. 
up. Ooh. If only your cards were good, I would be tempted. Don't push this button. That's amazing. This is one of the worst bundles of all time. Ah, oh, the Moon Knight. I love that Moon Knight. Well, still no, uh, no hood variant for everybody who's been counting. I've been playing since week one of the beta, and I don't have a hood variant. So that's my, that's my white whale for sure. What's in the cache today? Let's find out. Oh yeah, paid emotes. Look at that. Kitty, why do you have to have all the best art? Ah, <laughs> oh, the raindrops. I don't know, I, it's like, I actually feel sad just looking at it. It's a fun Miss Marvel, but I don't know, not that impressive. What do we think, chat? Do we pull... Hang on, I guess I gotta check now what the variants are alongside War Machine. Give me a sec. Cards, schedule. Um, open image in new tab. Go to card releases, zoom in. Why would you be so low res? Okay, we're getting a silk variant and a silver samurai variant with the next one. I guess I'ma go Kitty Pride now. Ooh, let's gamble! Kitty Pride is as good as White Queen. I mean, it's a different vibe with all of her art, but it ah yes in one. <laughs> all right, chat. This guy was my number one pick at the beginning of the season. I don't think I now. I think he's gonna be the worst card this season. But but. The folks at Second Dinner are determined to hold this guy down. He was initially released or reviewed in the data mine as a 5-9. They've taken a power off of him and they have thoroughly attacked his ability. Move the highest power enemy card here away. If you can't, destroy it with a rock. It used to be you always got the rock, but now it looks like you only get the rock if you are able to destroy the card. Make me a deck. What am I looking at? And is it playable? Okay, okay. So this is a Sarah Lockdown Surfer deck with a Cannonball Kicker. <laughs> I do always play one match with the auto-built deck. So we'll do that. And then we will rebuild, I think, I think in its entirety, but eh, who knows? Maybe it'll surprise us. The problem is that the storm is not real lockdown. Cannonball can still kick to the storm lane. I need like this Polaris is really good. The Polaris Cannonball, that's always going to be something. But then I guess the idea is that it's just like Surfer on top. Also, I don't think Rogue plays. I think that should just be hope. Pretty much. Now is it still bad? This might be better. Because hope is also X-Men. Do we have X-Men synergy? Polaris is X-Men. Cannonball is X-Men. Storm is X-Men. Surfer is not on any team, but Wolfsbane is X-Men. X-Men, X, Iceman's an X, Armor is also an X, so this is like Team X-Men also for the event, eh? They'll all basically buff each other, so Surfer, Brood are the only ones that don't- well, Sarah. Yeah, yeah. These three don't get the buff, but everybody else is an X-Men. Goblins, Debris, Hazmat, any packages for Cannonball? Yes. Debris instead of Storm? Debris instead of Storm, interesting. Interesting, and I agree. Also an X-Men, so we're keeping with the thematicism of the deck. Do we have any other initial vetoes? 
We've already used two vetoes on the auto deck. Let's just try it. And feel Cannonball in action. And then we'll re -throw. Yes, he destroys and puts a rock in the spot. It used to be he would move and still put a rock in the spot, but now they've taken that functionality away. Armor seems out of place. The armor is to be able to stop enemies running the destroy decks, which is otherwise our counter matchup. Very hard for us to survive the destroy matchup, and armor gives us a prayer. That way I can protect the little rocky rocks. Too bad Mockingbird doesn't like play like she was from their deck. We could probably work Luke Cage Hazmat just into this shell, right? True, she is X-Men as well. So, that's always welcome to see. Ooh. <laughs> uh, do I do it now? Also, with Surfer here, we pop off, right? I think you go Brood first. Get the brood, double Broodlings in place. And then you can play Debris later on T4. And then we'll win after that. Yeah, because we get the Mockingbird discount here as well, right? So you just go straight Mockingbird. I'm sorry to inform you, Mockingbird will now be free. And your board will be dead. Two rocks up here, too much. Two rocks over here for me, though. That feels bad. Like, should I just do this? Or should I do this? Maybe you do this. On turn 5, I can play Debris plus Mockingbird, and then on turn 6, I can play, like... Hope Surfer. Yeah, Mockingbird on the... I mean, we might want Mockingbird just in this deck, right? Ah, okay, good. We got in there in time. <laughs> we got him. Game Ender activates. Do I want... I mean, I do want this, but then I don't get Surfer in here. And if he plays a big card up here, it could be a problem. I don't want to play this because of Mobius. If he squeezes Mobius in here, that would be my problem. But I think we got this one. Surfer this turn, but then I don't get the debris down. Cannonball doesn't feel like S5. Yeah, well, everything releasing is now considered S5. Hopefully, if he doesn't feel like it, it'll just move down relatively. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Victory. What were you thinking was gonna happen? You knew that I had the Debbie. Alright, four cubes up. And we didn't even have to play the titular cannonball. What is Wolfsbane really doing for us, eh? Should we be changing Wolfsbane? I mean, Wolfsbane's effective in combo with Brood and Debris, but... Um, is like... She is... She is an X-Men. So right now with the Imbalance patch, she's getting that. Yo, Mars, how's it going? This card is a card you never have to play to win. Yes. Mm, bold. Interesting. Often I will wait on the Black Knight if I know that I am discarding the Black Cat. So you definitely go Forge here. Into Brood. That's perfect for us. Like, I could play... We could also play Chavez. 
with this deck, I feel like. Do I want a copy of my opening? Okay, they're just done. Well, they said only one or two more series drops this year, so not likely a quick... Uh, yeah, it's not likely a quick drop, but I, I mean, at this point, six months would be a quick drop, right? How about Cannon on Pro X? What do you mean Cannonball on Pro X? Are you saying if I put Cannonball... Like, they, they reveal simultaneously, they flip Pro X and I flip Cannonball? Technically, it's an interaction that we haven't seen before, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that nothing would be destroyed. Move the highest powered card away from here if you can't destroy it with a rock. The thing is, destroy it with a rock, right? Pro X blocks things from being destroyed so I and moved. So I don't think it could be moved, and then I don't think it could be destroyed, and then I don't think you get a rock. But if he transforms the card into a rock... But that's the thing, he would just say, transform it into a rock. So I think that Pro X would just prevent everything Cannonball wants to do. He would lock a lane down to make it easier for the card not to have any space to go. And in that case, Cannonball would be able to... Oh, oh, I have a field day. What if I do this? And then I definitely play Forge to be able to clone Brood. Do I want to clone Blue? Maybe I clone like Polaris over and over again. There is now a new gold offer of uh, 2,200 just saw in the shop. Like something brand new. Here we go. Eternity Ranger. You have to say it with that voice every time. And debris. Just insult the injury here. You gotta go for it. Lock them out. Um, lock them out. Then ice them up. Ice them up right here. Woof. He's a going for it. I am Is Cannonball any good? I have not yet played him. The deck has a 100% win rate though. But I have yet to play Cannonball himself. As funny as that is. I wish I had Surfer in hand, because then I could confidently play the Debris here, take away these board spaces. Play the Nightcrawler right here. Be ready to move the Nightcrawler. Buff the Nightcrawler. I mean, I could still do it just like praying that I top deck it. The alternative is you play Brood and Nightcrawler and then you wait. Okay, we'll try. Interesting, you did move Soulstone. And then you play Jeff, trying to keep the flexibility up. Gonna make me regret not playing the debris, hey? Armor. Sure. So debris just ends the game. She does just end the game. What if Wolfsbane was like, Bloodstone? Axel, how's it going? Any thoughts on Cannibal already? Nope. I have not yet played the card. I mean, I might as well just not play anything, right? Hey, vision! Wow! No! Oh. Ah. Alright, not our game. Not our draw. To have Surfer and Cannonball at the bottom of the deck. I mean, even Wolfsbane. Wolfsbane would have been... Nice? Ish? She would have been way better than Hope. Yeah. Eliath opportunity, right? Definitely the retreatable hand. Uh, okay. Uh, 
<laughs> that debris earlier, man. Instead of the brood, it's gonna haunt me now because I would have locked up right. Like, I might have been able to bluff my way into a win if I had played the debris, even though I didn't get the um, the surfer later. But Mr. Phipps, good to see you, man. Been busy. Uh, when are we gonna hang out? Was gonna buy me a beer? We'll work it out. We'll work it out. Fran. San Fran. San Fran, Tokyo. Live from the Daily Bugle. Oh, that's another whole set. Do we get guys, do you want Big Hero 6 characters in the game? I want Big Hero 6 characters in the game. Comic accurate? Yeah, okay. Movie accurate or comic accurate uh, Big Hero 6 characters? Which do we prefer? I think Teddy Wife wants the movie accurate. <laughs> Definitely have to have variants of both, but... Oh, finally! Finally! He's here. Okay. Why? Okay, the rock just shows his stat line. Got distracted there for a second. We'll do this, and then I'll go ahead and put down the debris because he's obviously attacking this lane. And this way I don't get the rock, but you get the rock. And we fill this position, and then if I cannonball mid, I can knock you here and win this lane as well. So, that's the game plan. Now we execute. Didn't know there was Big Hero 6 comic? Yes. Also, for we're inexplicably still waiting for Big Hero 6 too. I guess they got a TV show or something? That probably was not very good. This guy's got big bot energy. Fran, I thought they removed bots after infinite. What are you doing? <laughs> not, not to be rude, but what are you doing? Sarah move? If I play Sarah, I can surfer cannonball. Final turn. I could also Wolfsbane Cannonball. The idea being... I mean, I could also Cannonball now. It's the other thing. Like, if I Cannonball now, I move... I move the card, but I... Ugh, I wanted the rock to stay in its place. I can see where that would be so powerful. He's gonna play Kazar? Yeah, he's definitely gonna play Kazar. So that's why I need Wolfsbane over here. But he has to play Kazar here, and then he can't play anything on Big House. He's played himself. We'll go Sarah. Korg. Watu. Fish. My buddy. Cannonball! <laughs> Go get him, boy! Ah! Okay. We've gotten to see Cannonball. Grab the dub. I know. Bish at final turn is like, what What are we doing here, Fran? Hand empty, head empty. Can't believe that worked. Okay, listen. Even if the opponent put together a stronger semblance of a game plan, it still would have worked. That's the, that's the main takeaway, is even if he had played better, I still could have won. He did not play better, and here we are. Can you turn armor into a rock? That is a, that's what a lot of people are wondering right now. I don't think so. I believe that armor would prevent the destruction and thus not turn into a rock. Well, I wanted to play here on Mojo World, but now I think I should play on the Mer Island. Do, 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 
As a fun fact, I can say I'm still yet to see you've never seen before for Hercules, just realized. I think they stopped doing that. Like, I have not seen it for any of these new cards. You wasted your keys on Mockingbird? Mockingbird, one of the best cards in the game. Hitman, you don't like her? Mockingbird, very good. I would be... You are not... You are not wasting. Let me assure you. Mockingbird will pay for her keys. Cannonball! Cannonball being able to reposition something here, very good. Especially if I could go left, because I want to sack left. But if it goes right, like, they actually have a chance to beat me. If I play Sarah, I could play Cannonball Surfer. And this just keeps on scaling. Scaling, scaling, scaling. Holding up for War Machine next week. Yeah, that's a good idea. Gambit on left, left, left. Oh, ho, ho, that was my Sarah. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah, oh, Helicarrier. Rats. Cannonball and prey chat? Cannonball and pray? Listen, if it moves mid, I win. If it moves right, I think I still win. The best worst card to ever release? Send me your energy chat. Okay, don't pump up the collector. Don't hype up the collector. Ah, let's go. This is really good. <laughs> this guy is top 100 in the world, chat. Just got slapped by Cannonball. Oh. Okay. Okay. Nerf him now. <laughs> Ooh. How is this so good? Cannonball just Stegron, but a targeted Stegron. That's why he kicks butt. If Stegron targeted the highest power card, ooh, baby. Stegron watches with sadness as he becomes increasingly obsolete. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, chat, be critical now. How does the deck get better? Ed rallying the likes for the stream. Sarah turn one probably is snappable, right? Hit infinite with Steg this season. Don't hit on the boy? Okay, okay. I'll back off on Stegron. Malad Mike, how's it going, mate? We're doing great. You put Patriot in here? A Patriot Sarah Surfer deck. Okay, so... Patriot. Yep, I hope you brought your theory crafting brain, my lad. Do I pull for cannonball? Yes or no? I don't care. It's been 20 minutes. Well, so far, I'm loving him. How much do you like the idea of War Machine? I think you play Mindstone just to be able to get Iceman, because then you can go, like, Nightcrawler and stuff. Would Nebula be, Nebula be better than Iceman? Nebula better than Iceman. Great question. That's one of the age-old... That's one of the classics. Is Nebula better? Nebula is not... The problem right now is we're muddying the waters with the imbalance patch, right? Iceman is a 1-3. Which just like right now... 
puts him kind of aggressively over what some of these other cards are able to do. Worth the keys? Yes. Was going to pay just the 6k straight for War Machine? Yeah, because he doesn't have other good cards with him in the cash, right? I would open for Cannonball. I think Cannonball is actually pretty good. He's like... He has... I mean, yes, he's like Stegron, but good. He's also... Kind of getting some vibes of the, um, the old Oreo. Moon Girl the Cannibal. Cannibal or War Machine? I probably go War Machine if you have to pick between the two of them. But obviously we're just vibing here with Cannibal right now. What replacing armor with Hazmat? Wolfsbane to Luke. Iceman, Nightcrawler over to Mockingbird. Yeah, you have the Broodlings, and you also have the Debris Rocks, so... That could be a fun twist on the deck for sure. I have actually yet to play Wolfsbane. <laughs> so, if it's a card that I've been jamming like five games and have yet to even hit the board, it's not looking good for it. So what if I do this? Double Rock... The problem is like Soulstone here. I don't like the Double Rocks on that. We could play Forge, but I do like the double rocks overall. I just don't like it right here on Sanctum. So but then how do we win Sanctum? I guess that could be my sack lane. It could be my sack lane. And then I can use Forge to be able to buff something. We have so little board space if I do this, but so do they. That's the goal, would be to surprise them a little bit, especially if they play mid. Maybe I don't even play my other card right now. Let me just roll this. Cannonball can also seems like a better Spider 2099. Yes, kind of like what Spider-Man 2099 wanted to be too. Okay, so they go double time stone. As long as neither of these cards is flexible. Ooh, that's perfect. Very good as well. Booter snaps, how's it going, mate? Great to see you. Cannonball always wins right here, right? Yeah, yeah, we got it. Debris too good. Very good against Thanos, Debris is very good against Thanos. And I really wanted to play Cannonball on Kamartage. <laughs> Just to smack, smack, smack. Okay, where's my untapped? Take me to my stats. Auto cannonball. Currently six and one plus 14 cubes. Now we cook. Cannonball kind of on the idea of splashing him and move. Ooh, being able to ping off on a Craven as like the worst case scenario seems pretty fun. This Sarah deck actually like it it works. I have yet to fight Destroy the problem is I'm gonna fight a Destroy deck immediately, chat. As soon as you make me do this, I have to fight a destroy deck immediately. We get the loot cage in here. The hazmat for the armor. And then I'm not really using the nightcrawler, so I think you probably should be Mockingbird. As long as I hit Brood or Debris, Mockingbird looks great. Rest of the team still solid. The Forge maybe is like the next questionable card, but let's try it. Let's not change too much at once. If we go Toxic, do we go ahead and take out Seraph or Annie? Uh, an Iceman for a Nightcrawler and then get the Hood in there? I don't know, it's interesting, right? Because I could run um, Typhoid Mary. 
Or I could try going, like, bo more board attack with the junk game plan, right? And yeah, Sarah for any sentry in here, Hood, would be that core. Which we certainly could try. If there's no space, then Cannonball just kills the card? Yes. X-Men buff is great with Silver Surfer. It is quite fun. Cannonball, Abzman, Moon Girl. I think we might be leaning in a little too hard there. But I like where your head's at. I do. Move with Cannonball and Spider-Man 2099. Oh, to have both of them. Sure, sure. Why not? <laughs> Here is a move deck. No, move deck with a move location. That's not fair. Oh, thank you, Luke. You're gonna save me, mate. But if I go hope here, into debris, move hates debris. Do I think Pro X is helpful to close lanes for Cannonball on T6? Yes. That's why I want to play a Renslayer Pro X Goblins deck with this guy. Let me do this. Raven Cloak, I'll move the Vulture back. Cannonball is Shangron. <laughs> yeah. I like that, Shangron. Let's go Sarah here. Definitely want to play Luke. Luke, Cannonball final turn. Could be a pretty good move for us. Depending on initiative, it might work out great. This Vulture is going to pop off, though. It was a Craven, so... I'd be okay if at least I finally get Ms. Marvel. Epic Nate, I hope you do. I hope you do, mate. Okay. <laughs> it wins, right, chat? It just wins. He doesn't expect the Luke Cage to be able to pick me back up to massive power at Jodenheim. Cannonball is going to kick Vulture. Vulture will scale. I don't care. Vulture scales down 21. You're at 6 to my whatever. You never win, mate. You never see this coming. Shimedoll! Activate! Get out of here! <laughs> ah! Another great cannonball dub. Victory. Another great cannonball dub. Cannonball Kingpin! Ooh! Cannonball... Kingpin. This is the way. I already said- Oh, but Forge- Forge is really good for Brood. He's like, necessary for Brood. Oh, man. Is Kingpin better than Hazmat? Like that- We could- I hazmat Luke Cage, right? Like, they're just kind of peripheral. The only synergy we have with them is debris. Right? And that's like, we're not leaning into it, but it's still playable. With the Kingpin, we've got to go with Magneto or Arrow. I think Cannonball might be just enough. You have Polaris. You know, like, let's, let's try it, okay? You cut these two. Kingpin me. And then... Spider-Man? What about this? Spider-Man is another surfer tap. Kingpin just kind of hanging out. Kingpin does his work on Polaris, on Spider-Man, on Cannonball. The move is random, right? Vulture could have gone mid. Uh, yes, Vulture could have gone mid. Yeah, it's just a way, so it's a random location. I think this could be it.
Like, I think it's enough to make the kingpin interesting. But it's not all in, right? FSG, let's go. I was gonna say let's go. It's another it's another washed up snap creator. Here we go. Love that kingpin variant. I do too. The pirates, or like I guess it's the 1602 ones. Randomness is what makes it good. Randomness is what makes it balanced. Give me hope. I would really like to see Brood. If it chooses a random location that is full, will it destroy or just go to a different one? It will go to a different one. We could have a card that removes a card from the game. Like it can't be resurrected or played in another round of Conquest. It thins the deck in Conquest? That would be insane. Mill would be too strong. Okay, we got the Kingpin. You gotta try him. I don't know about you yet. I think I keep waiting to be able to tap Brood. Okay, move Power Stone. Cannonball. Has to be worth it. It's a free destroy with clogging is too good. It is good. Okay. Fun. I think the move is actually like debris here. No, it takes away this space for us to be able to win that location pretty easily. And then it's all going to be on mid, which is where Cannonball would just win the game, right? So. Then with Elysium here, I just wait. Let's do this. Maybe Sunspot could have that ability. Just take the card out of existence. That'd be weird. Ah, dang it, he had the Pro X. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> now, let's think about this. Forge is gonna activate, then he's gonna die. He's gonna buff the Brood. Brood is gonna spam out two little guys, and then Brood is gonna die. I could then Surfer right, right there, right then, right? And then it's like Mockingbird mid or Cannonball mid to get the dub. This, I could have played Mockingbird on right. I was thinking about it, but I held off. Let's try. He could go Elioth. We might have to retreat. Normally FSG is playing the new card, so I'm surprised he isn't. You die. Mockingbird is free. Surfer buffs. Puts these guys in. We're still behind, so the Eliath would catch us. I mean, also just these two guys moving left gets us. 14. Bummer. Did he play the Pro X early? He did, right? He played it on turn four. He was able to cheat it out. That's part of what caught us. Is he was ready to get it on turn four. No, Cannonball is very good. Cannonball has uh, single-handedly won me 12 cubes. In two games. The rest of the time I haven't really played him. No, it was the Elysium, that's what it was. It was the Elysium, let him get it down on 2-4. Okay. 
Hope and the Sarah Spider-Mans. Let's go. So your Avengers, your event. Ooh. This will be nice. Oh. Two plays I've seen with Cannonball looked very good. Yep. It definitely does look really good. They've got multiple man. This means I must... Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Sorry, Kingpin says you're not going to have any fun. Do I just snap on this? Like, the debris makes uh, Phoenix Force bad, and the Kingpin makes move bad. This makes move good, but I think I'm good for it. Chat, have we played Polaris yet? Snap twice, if only. Snap, snap twice. Hmm. Try to carry mid. Try to play you just for the discounts. I could. What feature would I like to have? Be involved in clans? I would like, I mean, it's going to be like clan versus clan. I want to have, I mean, an in-game chat would be great. A team match, so it's like teams of two versus opposing teams of two would be great. A clan training arena so that you can have unranked mode just against your clan mates would be great. And then we need to open up to like in-client tournaments. That's my... That's my roadmap for clans. None of this is confirmed, chat. It's, it's just my wish list. Ah, it is. Uh, mean. <laughs> do I do this now or do I wait? I feel like you might just do this now, you know, and kick, kick Nimrod so that he's not able to do anything. Though I could also just play you and move the Nimrod and then save the Cannonball to be able to kick the Venom or whatever and hold on to you and hold on to you. We're in a very good spot right now. I don't know where you're going, so maybe that's reason to hold off a little bit. There we go. We got Ahmed as a uh, lieutenant. Perfect, perfect. Depending on the number of people we're able to get in the clans, I might have to have cadet branches and we're going to need leaders for those so we're definitely going to be recruiting the ranks of the team teddy diehards to be able to support us we want to get as many people involved as possible to feel the warm embrace of team teddy so there you go nikos changes location human torch flips to vibranium mines deathlock destroys your good stuff and then what are you are you carnage you are carnage Carnage kind of gets us. Hmm. He flips first. Like, I can do this. Do this. This, so this is pulling the rock over to be able to give me the win here. This is pushing whatever big card. You've already spent your carnage and your death lock, so you can destroy once. You have venom to go. You have venom and you have phoenix force, but you can't play both of them because you changed this location. Okay. Maybe I just go like the most stats possible. Are you more stats? You're three, four, five, you're seven. You're the most stats. But if I, you get plus four, you're at 10. I'm at 10, that's just a, no, I'm at, yeah, both be at 10. And if I kick to the wrong lane, I lose. Hmm. The fact that you were able to 
destroy on turn five. Got us. Basically, if Spider-Man had moved mid, we would have been fine. That's what it is. Oh, he's Zola's right. Mm. Even if he's Zola's right, I think he gets us in pretty much all cases there. Well, then you have doubles. I think the Zola right beats us, yeah. How's Cannonball so far? Very good. Zola for multiplying all of those Nimrods would have been too much. Don't worry, I'm a bot. I believe you. I believe you. Were your faults? Okay. All the three costs. This is definitely looking like a Silver Surfer hand. Worth rolling some keys for? Yes. I'm gonna do this and pray that we get rid of the Morbius. I was gonna go for the Spider-Man, but here we are. Blade cuts Proxima. Gosh dang it. I mean, they do get rid of the Morbius, but he's now got Proxima there. So I have to do something like Debris to be able to save my Polaris? If I want to. Normally I'd want to play Hope. Let's go Debris and see what happens. Dude, if we cannonball Dracula in the Warrior Falls, I think you do this. Like, we're, we're kind of on, we're on a bad track. Oh, now we're going to move the Swarm. I am apocalypse. So now we move you. We do kill you, though. That's fun. Final play, we dive. Unless... This ever win? 4, 8, 12? I don't think so. Not well. If I'd gotten the Dracula, that would have been really spicy, but... Unlikely. Not a good location setup for us. That's tough. Man, we got his Morbius, and we also got his Swarm destroyed at Warrior Falls. We just didn't put any points on the board. De Brasilia! How's it going, Povo? Why wait, he snapped? Yeah, because I can undo. Actually, if I do retreat later, maybe I can. With the new undo turn, do they let you? I just like a pause. Okay. Thanos is our bread and butter. Do this. Soul stone. Hey. You made my forge more powerful. And my Sarah way better too. Okay. So this is like Iceman in the forge and then it's Brood on four, Sarah on five, everything's free. That feels really good. I'm glad Undo Turn exists. Saved me so many games. Yeah, I'm very glad that it exists now. Ah, double Psylocke. He might look for the Pro X. He's gonna have... Well, he's gonna have six energy, so really he can look for anything he wants. 
He also flips first, but he can't put pro -X on Isle of Silence, so I still get away with this. We'll just see if any of the rest of the board is open to us or not. pro -X on right, really good. He can move Soulstone and play pro -X, and I don't think I have anything that really stops him. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Basically, I want to find... Uh, well, you could Spider-Man over debuff and then hope to find Surfer, right? It's probably what you do. Because if he plays on right now, I don't think he will. If he does, I would clog with Mind Stone and then have a shot at winning. I'll take the snap and just see. Cannonball, Lady Deathstrike, Red Guardian in the same team. He's so bad. Of course it's locking my mid up. I'm at a huge disadvantage, mate. They also wanted to lock his mid up. That's what I wanted. I wanted him to not play Jeff. Just play Jeff directly here, and then I could pull Mind Stone over. I could debuff the Mind Stone by two, and then top deck Surfer and win. That was like the only chance. This deck does not seem that great, Slamming Cheeks. So we're at plus 1.1 cubes a game. I don't know. That seems pretty dang great. I think I need Absorbing Man. What am I playing on Absorbing Man? What does Absorbing Man want to absorb? Pinball mid last turn might have done it right, unless I just straight up Eliath mid. Hmm. Cannonball on mid. Could have been a shot. I would have been moving Mockingbird. I don't know, the problem with the Thanos deck is... If he doesn't fill and he just plays Blob on left, then, like, I lose left. Am I liking Cannonball? I really like Cannonball. We're gonna do this... Let's see. How many games total am I at? Mm, 12? We'll do this a few more games. And then we'll try Junk. Thanos deck. Snapping on a hand he likes. We're good against Thanos. Especially with Cannonball in hand. Mockingbird Brood in hand also very good. So... We just win now, right? Unless he redstones bar. We could just win. Make sure Debris fills a lane. Stack another lane. Cannonball moves his best card and then puts it on the bar. And it's over. We're about to have no board space, that's for sure. So I could brood now. You brood now to try and give him the rock to then debris to lock the lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. Oh, he does redstone it. No? He's just ready to redstone it at some future date? What are you doing? <laughs> we see the cloud disappear. Oh, we got Howard the Duck on our side. Okay. <laughs> My faith. <laughs> My faith in Howard has never been stronger. Oh, man. So this ties mid. Locks here. Locks here. GG's. Yep. Okay.
I'm just thinking about Magneto. Moves these things here. And Cannonball still does it though. I think. You have to retreat here, right? I'm gonna move Blade or destroy Blade. Or M Mobius. Advance my side by 7, up to 10. That's a dub. If you play Magneto... I still win, because it's not enough to pass. If you Redstone, I definitely win. Yeah, he had to retreat. Victory. There we go. There we go. Back to our winning ways. Alright. That's up to... 13 games. Two more. I want to take it to an even 15, and then we'll update the deck to jump. I want to get in the Sentry Hood, Annihilus. Ah, do I want to go for Renslayer... Renslayer Goblins. I feel like Renslayer Goblins might be it. The Kingpin... I don't know. He's not done anything yet, but... Yes, an even 15, exactly. You got it. Where's Polaris when you need her, right? Are you Thanos? You're not Thanos. I'll play you here. Did someone say sentry? Someone said sentry! Gotta get him in here. Hmm, raft. Okay. Play these guys. So you're like just the uh, take, take your opponent's deck and play it better kind of game plan. Have we even seen Polaris get drawn yet? Thank you, she's incredibly elusive at the moment and it is disheartening debris or white queen the board attack is good especially with all the raptors and if i do draw polaris i can pull cable across i could also play polaris here to pull something into the kingpin attack and it makes mockingbird free i've played polaris one out of the 15 games and she's been in the deck the whole time. I will think I've only drawn her twice. Phil? Interesting. Hmm, there she is. Would you look at that? Just don't... Pull Collector. It would be the only thing. If you pull Collector, I'm in trouble. So, do I actually want to pull here? Wahoo! -hoo. Thank you for the sub. Thank you. Time to get destroyed from the raft. I know it's that's how it always plays out, eh? This might be better because the one, two, three, four. So it's one in four. She screws us over. I'll take that. I'll take the one in four on mid for the for the W. And even though he can keep on scaling Collector and Bishop, the Mockingbird's going to be tough to top. Zola. Great. Unplayable. Good. Good.
Come on, buddy. Come on, little buddy. Magneto pulls the debris. Magneto, double Magneto. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> ah, it's Cannonball again. He's too good, Chad. He's too good. Ooh. I wanna thought that 24 points was enough. It's not enough. He's the cube scammer. Can someone check on our opponent? Okay, one more and then we go with the new deck. Didn't know he can destroy cards in lane, thought it needed to be moved. Yeah, that's the thing. If it can't be moved, he'll destroy the card. Um, otherwise, he will just move the card. Yeah, once we get the Gabos, then I think we're really cooking. I mean... Super Forge. Forge on the Brood just makes sense. Spider Man here. Off of Bar Sinister. Very good as well. Be a 7 power Spider Man. That would be more powerful than the Brood. Like, do I just do this? Mayhaps. Spin, 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 spin moves. Okay, let's try it. Cannonball seems like Legion with these surprise wins. He does. He's got that Legion energy, man. Cannonball into Zola? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Cannonball into Zola. Just put him all around. The problem is, like, Cannonball into Zola is way better if you're getting destroys, and you only get destroys if you got the Breeze. And if you got the Breeze, you can't guarantee Zola on the Cannonball. It's a whole thing. It would be very funny. The scam on ball. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> it was nice playing with yous. But we're gonna stop playing now. Ah. Uh... Right? Like, this is the dub? There's no way his collector scales. I don't think there's any way his collector scales. It might scale, though. Oh, true. He could have gotten my Surfer. If he got my Surfer, he would win. If he got my Surfer, he would win. He didn't get it. Okay. Victory. Here's the thing. I wasn't sure at the time that I played Debris if he was Discard or Loki. Right? Like... Collector Zabu shifts toward Loki, but we're seeing so much more discard right now that I was like, I think I got it. But... All right. 
So we came out of that. There's those updates. Plus 25 cubes, 66.7% win rate, 10 and 5. That feels really good for a surfer deck. So now we need to cook off this. This is not where I want to start, though. We're going to cut use their ideas. The, the deb debuff toxic stuff is definitely ideas, but we want Dentry. We want Annie, Cannonball, Hood, Don't Need Ironheart, uh, Renslayer, Green Goblin, Selene, um, we're gonna go all in. I'm gonna go Hobgoblin like a psychopath. Take you out, run Daredevil, and then this is us. What are we missing? Chat, Armor and Nico would be the cuttable ones. My thoughts on the new card? Yes or no purchase? Yes, purchase. He's good. He is not as impressive as some of the other cards releasing this season, but he is good. He's good. He's got the Legion kind of energy of steel and games. We really want Viper. So it's like Viper, Black Widow, kind of waiting in the wings, right? It would also be something that Renslayer would discount. Because right now she's only hitting God. Oh, it's Pro X. It's Pro X. Armor for Pro X. Okay. Black Widow seems good. Does Black Widow seem better than Nico? Maybe. Three threes, one four. We're loaded down on fives, but two of them get discounted. Two ones, two twos. It's a pretty balanced out list. Let's try it. He's better than Pixie? I think Cannonball is definitively better than Pixie. Yes. Can my friends uh, communicate with other Snap creators like Dexter, Cozy, and Alex? Uh, they do not return my calls. Communication is one-sided. I'll put it that way. <laughs> so I do stuff with, like, Brad Sifer. Cannonball is the Shang, exactly. Cannonball is the Shang. They also do stuff with, like, the Snap Judgment guys. After building the clan, we'll show them. Exactly. Exactly. Alright, Celine, so good here. Straight into Green Gabo, right under Necrotia. This guy eating shawarma. Have I had a collab with Broad himself yet? I have not. It seems to be that only Binks gets those. Though I guess Cozy and Dexter get to appear in the dev videos. What I would really like to collab with is Glenn. But obviously he is a busy, busy man. Trying to run the game for all of us monkeys.
that cannonball. No Gabo here. No Annie yet. Tough. <laughs> Cozy's always there in Ben's shirts. Yeah, sounds right. Yeah, they also have the Tribe Gaming Connections, right? Which is like an official collab partner right now, so. They got the hookup. They got the hookup and they wear it well. Um. So do we just win if I go like Sentry into Pro X here? We choose to sack Necrotia and use Cannonball last turn here. I hope so. Doing the event where I move the Green Goblin, that would be terrible. Let's try this, see what happens. The flannel is just a part of his body exactly. He likes my Green Goblin. I don't know what that means. Do you like the art or do you have Odin? They got the Hobgoblin now. You played Bli- what are, what are you playing? I don't understand. Is this win? I think it wins. That or the man is about to play Devil Dinosaur on mid or something insane. There it is. Naturally. Mm, no Annihilus. Tough. We do these guys and move one of you. I... I think I overcome 6-4. Yeah, let's get out. That it was the first snap channel you found when you first started playing. Watch the others now too, but just like the calm nature compared to Binks and the other guys. We try to keep it chill, try to keep it fun, try to keep it supportive. That's kind of the why I like doing the channel still. Being able to build that kind of community and to keep seeing you guys coming back. I love it. We may make fun of Cozy with his boat connections, but Hoogland is only connected to his anger. <laughs> yeah, and his, like, thousands of fans. So, you know, they all got something on us. I don't really want a Selene. I got the random tenor as a sentry? Oh my goodness. Come on, Annihilus. Viper would have been better in that situation. She would have been better in that situation. But when you have Annihilus, you don't care. Also, drawing Renslayer would be kind of nice. I appreciate you too, my lad, Mike. Okay. I mean, I guess it's... Little Debbie. Here we go. Do I put the sentry on mid? See if he survives. He's kind of important. I guess I'll put him on left. What kind of deck are you? Collector doesn't tell me all that much. You probably discard though. Eh, maybe Loki. Okay, now you're actually Loki. Ah, uh, sweet. You love the vibes on stream? That's uh, awesome. Yeah, the other guys in terms of the video craft are really solid. Mm. 
All right, Sentry Wolf. See what he got. Are you going to block me on Dark Dimension, or do I get away with this? Any? Also, I could technically play Sentry Celine here and hope that Celine hits Hood, and then I can use Annie to throw the Hood next turn, which would be very funny. Drop the Hobgoblin and change it for the Viper. That might be the way to go, but I mean, the Hobgoblin is one of the reasons that we're playing Renslayer. Like, Hobgoblin on four is really nice. You're gonna morph into something. You flip first. It means I do get away with this Annie. Yeah, so does morph chat? Does anybody know? Does the morph card discount um, Mockingbird? Because morph started in the deck, but the copy that he turns into did not. I don't know how that one works out. Someone's going to have to put that one together for me. It does discount it. Uh... That's fun. That, that's fun that it discounts it. I like that. Meanwhile, let's do this. And then it dies. Okay, well, it will not discount it in this situation because it is dead. Spoiled for choice. I could put down another sentry, but he might die. I feel like just kind of loading mid makes some sense. I do you. Does Shang? Shang takes you to 12. That would beat me, but I don't know how you're overcoming the void. Negative 10 is pretty tall order to beat up. So I'd probably play Celine here just in case he's got a, a try. He does have the one card there, so he might think he could do it. So on that token, I could just play Cannonball here. Should move the rock. But he's just there for the points, right? Eight points is eight points. And I put Celine here because she's lower value if she dies. Sure. Roll me. He does have Mockingbird. Mockingbird will be nice and cheap. There she is. Oh, it sticks. No. And Mantis? Ah, woof. Boo. Could have played Cannonball mid. Long time since you visited the streams. What's my opinion on Cannonball so far? He's real good. If I'd used him right last turn, I would have won. Yeah, I had to put more pressure on Danger Room there. Or Danger Room had to actually destroy something of his, right? One or the other. This could be fun with debris on cloning vets. Played a couple times. Danger Room paid actor, yeah. <laughs> ah, free swarms forever. That's very dangerous. I hope I get Renslayer. So I probably play like Debris Hood next. Debris Hood, then you go Annihilus. Ah, uh, here come the Dakins. Dakin cloning vets. Such a classic.
He splits the Dakins. Uh, meek, clever. But you can get meek out. We've got options here. I actually could destroy this Dakin with my cannonball and clone the cannonball. You're going for Corvus. And you flip first, and then you, if you hit the Dakin, I would be able to destroy the Dakin. It'd be really fun. I could also throw Annie give you the hood hmm if I give you the hood Annie puts pressure over here it's like final turn cannonball demon maybe that is better let's try this Rack Silver Sam. Okay. Push him across. He still flips first. He's gonna have to go for something that's gonna pop the Muramasa shards. I'll kill it. Take the win. Trust on my demon. Winning here. It's not great, but it is something. I don't know, is Modok still just too much though? Like, Modok's better than the demon. For a scaling meek. Why not play left? Because I lose. I lose if I play left. Unless he doesn't have Modoc, is basically what it is. For two cubes, you know, I kind of want to see it. But I think I should have retreated. Oh, it's just another Corvus. There's the blade. Hey, the Morbius. <laughs> Got him. Okay, okay, we were fine. We were fine. Cannonball left for the Modoc? Oh, guys, I'd still die. The Modoc scales right past what I'm able to accomplish. It was just like if he played Modoc, his meek would have been too big. He would have outpaced my demon. But because he didn't have it, we get it. Why did I get the minus 25? That's a visual bug that has been persistent on the Steam client, especially where they will show you the cube change from the previous match. Oh, we lost a heartbreaker. Is it time for the kingpin to shine? Mm, he didn't really shine when we were piloting him, but maybe. Okay. Thanos. Thanos is our bread and butter. This is where we get them. No cards can be added here. Chat, do you guys know? Will Hood change sides? I'm actually not sure I've seen that one. Sicilian Force, thank you for the Prime Resub. Thank you. Team Teddy grows stronger. You guys are awesome. Only way Kingpin shines is through his head. <laughs> Same chip version is still the unwanted child. Yeah, exactly. You don't think he changes sides? So basically, I have to wait to win Nihilus on six. Or here, he takes the question away from us. Perfect. I don't know how I feel about this Hobgoblin, but... Well, we finally got Renslayer, though, which we have not had. Let's go... Now I can Renslayer Hobby. I 
Honestly, not sure if you should open for him. More than canon, you want that kitty variant. That kitty variant is really good. I don't know, I was just looking at it for a moment. I upped the card level to get the animation and the rain is like coming down with her in the umbrella and I was like, oh, I actually feel like, I feel a little sad. Like, the, I got, I got hit with the feels. Okay. Well, I could Daredevil Green Gabby, which sounds pretty good actually, to show me where to hop Gabby. Let's try it. Otherwise, I would have just gone Hop Goblin mid. Cannonball has been one of the ones that you've wanted the most. It's tough for War, War Machine coming around, but I think War Machine might be a little overhyped. I think War Machine's definitely overhyped, but I also think that War Machine's gonna be really good. I think that Cannonball is like a sneaky, awesome cube stealer. A really good card. Now we really have to have a Nihilus. Thank you. Speak of the devil. We still get to see what he plays before we decide to retreat or not. So we wait. Yeah, Hobbs either mid or nowhere, right? Here's Vision. I see you are a man of great vision. I could place Sentry here. <clears throat> Do a final turn on Nihilus. I would really want to have Selene in hand to be confident on that as a final play. Because these would die. Or go across if he doesn't replace Jeff. But the Void dies, so that doesn't go across. And he's got vision to be able to slide over and kill the demon. Yeah, we'll get out. War Machine is a predictable Hella without the discard. Hmm. Sentry into Annihilus feels so free. It would feel better if Warrior Falls wasn't that right location. Like, because the Void was gonna die, it wasn't good enough otherwise. If I only had enough caches for War Machine or Cannonball, would you save for War Machine? Hmm. I probably do save for War Machine, but I don't know, man. Like, Cannonball is so good. That Cannonball Sarah deck was kicking butt. Chris Impey? Cannonball is really good. Cannonball was doing better in Sarah Surfer than in Full Junk, but I think it's also like I didn't build the best Full Junk deck. The Hobgoblin is getting too greedy, I think. But I've got the Daredevil for it. I just keep waiting for it to do the thing and then I'll change it, basically. Yeah, Cannonball is very good individually. Is Cannonball better than Mockingbird? No. But he's better than Pixie. Cut Pro X? Interesting. Obviously, some observational bias. I'm gonna use Pro X here to win Nidavalier. Pro X will not be usable next week. Kinda true. I mean, he still is usable in synergy with, um... Cannonball. But we got this one. Pro X on 5, Selene and Nihilus on 6. Unless he has uh, Shang here. But I guess Daredevil will let me see it, so. 
Ganon's the better standalone card. He doesn't rely on board state like Mockingbird does. But Mockingbird is better given the meta. Yeah, Mockingbird Thanos. Disgusting. Profex may need a rework at this point. Yeah, they keep on working things in like Jeff and War Machine that are like, oh, sorry. Profex doesn't do the thing. Just big bot energy there. Victory. Dude, Cannonball is crushing it. Turns out 09 is decent, who would have thought? Until Mobius is everywhere and then it's a 5-9. But even then, you can sometimes rush it out on 3 at the same time they play Mobius. Even the 3-9 is decent, who would have thought? Uh, Mockingbird is crazy. I don't know why they keep on giving Thanos all the best toys. Profex, more expensive. Uh, where's her Storm? Well, the thing is that the Storm, if they don't fill their location, the card can still move there, even though they can't be played there. So that's why I'm pulling in Pro X. Like, Pro X would prevent the cards from being moved there, which is supposed to synergize with Cannonball getting the destructions. It's not actually happened yet, but that was the idea. Also, Pro X synergizes with Renslayer. But yeah, there's a world where you cut Renslayer Pro X and then you run a bunch of other stuff instead, right? Mockingbird favorite card in a while? I do like her, but I think that she's like too good. Having success with this deck? Uh, mixed. Mixed with this deck explicitly, but a lot of success testing Cannonball on the day. I kind of just started this one. We're five games in. What about Cannonball Galactus? What about it? You're saying you, can you Galactus and then you Cannonball later to get the destruction? Or are you saying you... Because you can't really use Cannonball to clear Fort Galactus. I don't know on that one. Like, I don't... I don't get it. Just wondering, Cannonball in Wong deck with Mystique? Hercules the other location. <laughs> uh, it's really funny. Not good, but it is really funny. Why couldn't you have... Nah. Anyway. Wave into Pro X. Like, what is your game plan? What do I need to be worried about? What deck is Cannonball best in? A Junk Lockdown Hybrid. Which frankly can splash a lot of things. What are you? 15? Hold on. Yes, you're just so shiny, I can't even see what that power is. That is a lot of power. But at the same time, I control your power going down. I think my man just powers, like, goes all in on mid here. And then when I cannonball and knock him to the side, I win the game. But I won't snap, but I will roll it. Oh. Dang it. Boring. Goliath. Lucky Black Cat, you have a good one? Energy cheat into the Galactus and the Cannonball. The issue is Goliath is just better. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. It's like you could just Goliath instead. And then I don't know if Cannonball helps the plan B, right? Could Cannonball be the missing part to a Kingpin deck? We were trying, Miyamoto. It 
didn't make the kingpin really shine, but maybe there is something. I mean, just being able to throw the opponent's best cards around is quite nice. Maybe I need to go more into the silky move deck and run Craven as well. You can't cannonball if you already have Pryo. Exactly. The cannonball works. I guess like if they play simultaneous to your Galactus and then they get a bigger card down so your Eliath wouldn't work, you could cannonball instead. But then they could Eliath. I don't know. They, I don't really like the Galactus deck. I probably won't even try it. Just to be like, keep it 100 with you guys. Probably will not even try it. Is Cannonball flexible? Yes. So far he's had the most success in a Sarah Surfer deck. He's not pigeonholed at all. He can do whatevs. I want them to change Eliath and make it kill cards revealed at this location this turn instead of unrevealed. So just flip what side of the initiative he's good on. Galactus works better in d Yeah, I think Galactus is going to have better... Better side gigs. Is that a weird way to put it? Try this. At the moment, Cannonball just seems like a terrible card compared to a... Vision Mockingbird, unless we get Thanos nerf. I've been beating Thanos non-stop, my brother. Marque, Thanos is my bread and butter. I, I take cubes from them constantly. Now against other matchups, yeah, I've got some weak matchups, but... I don't know, I like Cannibal. Kitty, Snowguard, Rock, Cable. Why are we doing this? So the kitty here can hop. If I use a Nihilus, I drop the hood neck three. If I set up sentry, right, I can then go Demon? I'm at 10. You're not going to be able to play Shang. You're adding 4 to 5. 6, 7. You're down by 3. I can then... Do I ever have a shot here at 8, 9, 10, 11? I don't. So I would play you mid. And then I can like Annihilus on right. Your deck feels like it's all going to be cheap stuff. And if I top deck Cannonball, I could play here. I'm puzzling, I'm puzzling, chat. Until my puzzler is sore. Cannonball? Top deck? Rock. Right. Of course it's a rock. Play this. Play this? Watch, he has Oliath or something stupid. No, we got it. Okay. Victory. Waiting for all those Archerm variants to return. Need that Archerm Loki and the Killmonger. Mm. Did somebody say... Wait for it. Wait for it. Did somebody say... Archerm Loki? Hmm. Masterpiece. That's what happens when you let great artists be great. Cheng nerf could be if your enemy has a card with more power than you in this location, destroy it or something. That would be amazing, but I I think that Shang just stays the way that he is. Like, the rest of the game has been literally balanced around Shang existing. Like we we we've got what we got, kind of thing. Just 
That Loki is something special. What do we think he got? Cannonball? If he just emoted, he probably got Cannonball, right? Like, that's, that's just the feel I get. I put it at, like... How high do we give it? 75? 80% odds he got Cannonball? He might have... E I have cool variants here. He might have emoted on one of those, but I think it's, like, 80% he has Cannonball now. Hmm, that's a lot of rocks. Here's the thing. Do I care if I've got rocks there? I could go Green Goblin into Sentry into Pro X into Cannonball. Like, that's a, that's a win. I think. I think that's just a win if I if I don't break my stride here. I feel like your draw luck increases when the opponent emotes. This is a great draw. <laughs> I'll give you that. Okay. So he did nothing, which was a mistake. Because now he's behind in tempo. I mean, it's not a bit... Obviously, you can win this easily, but... After I pro X and then cannonball, how do you keep up with me? Do I want this here or here? This is going to keep on, like, working him down. And then if I don't have any cards here, like... You can't cannonball nothing. But I can sentry and then keep tempo, lock it up. Yeah, snap again. Snap again. Let's take it to him. Ah. Dagger scaling. Dagger, dagger, dagger. It moves again. Snap harder! More! More! What you got? This is the cannonball. Am I in danger? If I prof this lane, I actually cannot cannonball. I would like lose to a Heimdall. But if I play here, my sentry dies. I don't lose to Heimdall, but I lose to Doctor Strange. Fascinating. I could also full pass, opening this lane up entirely for me to be able to play my own cannonball. I'm gonna pass. Okay. Good job, you moved my card. I'm still ahead by a lot. Heimdall does not skip over, Heimdall is blocked. Eighteen power dagger. I should have gone with my original plan, which was going to be sentry mid and then pro X that to be able to go cannonball on left. Just throwing around my goblin wasn't going to be the move. Oh man, this one ended up being a brain breaker. He does shime doll. Uh, 
Heimdall, you gotta go mid. No. That was a really interesting game. A really interesting game. I could have... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. On the call of like Heimdall right, I could have gone Hobgoblin plus... I think I had Selene in hand. That would have been enough to win. I wish Cannonball always left the rock. I do too. That was originally in his data mine. The fact that they had it originally in his data mine just had it like in my brain. They're like, that's what I want. But obviously it's still good. People tried Cannonball Kingpin. We did try that for a little bit. It was not that impressive. We need to find a way to get Polaris in this deck. That's what we need to do. How's Cannonball feel? Is he good? Uh, sub for Shang. In specific decks? Yes. That's another move deck? What the heck? Where are you guys coming from? It's Dagger. Well, if you stop a move deck's draw, that kind of ruins their day. So we'll do this. And then we've got the Pro X available next turn alongside a Jin. Which is pretty nice. It's going to move the dagger, give them a Jin. There's the Craven on Shuri's lab. But you already played the Ghost Spider. You could play Doctor Strange here. And you flip first, so it would make it. But if you don't play Doctor Strange, then I'm winning this one. Maybe he'll set up a cloak instead. Should be 8 power to 12. 6, 10. Well, I would win. I'm gonna try it, but I'm not gonna snap because it's pretty risky. Okay, we're good. Oh, we're so good. What about Cannon Maul with a Grand Master Frost? That would be real spicy. The thing is. I don't know if my brain- I don't know if I'm intelligent enough to keep up with that, I'll be honest. Like, you're asking a lot of mental faculties to plan a cannonball play on turn 5 that then is going to be valid on activating on mid lane on turn 6 after you play Grandmaster. Like, that's... <laughs> that's a lot of moving pieces, and I'm just a simple man. <laughs> How's it going, Simon? Great to see you, man. Renslayer Green Gabo has to be the way, especially now that he's spent Beast. So we'll see what he's trying to do and then we'll mess it up. We also have Drabri to be able to mess it up even more, but I don't know. I just got a good feeling about. Ooh, wow. Ah. Uh, Jin. Oh, you shouldn't have. Hang on, hang on. I flip first? Oh, no. I flip first. Ab Gabo. Uh All right. Yeah, he believes me. Victory. This is the man who is known as the move guy for a while. Yeah. Do I think the grandmaster will pop off once the perfect on reveal releases? He technically always has potential. He does! Very similar to Absorbing Man. 
it's interesting, like, what is Grandmaster going to be better with? A high priority 5 cost on reveal? Or a high priority 1 cost on reveal? Because just being able to play him on tempo is pretty good. Jimson Hawk, thank you for the follow. I think, honestly, like, getting a punchy... It's, it's, it's like a 4 cost on reveal. If you look at the 4 cost cards, barely any of them have good on reveals. You've got um, JJ, but she's kind of just off doing her own thing, right? I could Selene into the hood, or I could Renslayer and pray that I top deck valuable cards. It's Renslayer and pray. Kills your own Dakin? Why would you? But I think something on four that has a powerful on reveal that can then get Grandmastered on five would be good. Or something where you can play that powerful card on six with Grandmaster on the same turn to like get the double activation could be what it's missing to really pop off. That's my that's my pick. Go Debbie. I mean now that I have Sentry and Nihilus, like that's probably just all I do. And if you're Hella, there's too many squirrels and rocks for you to get your full complement. In last game, Prof X left and Cannonball Mid would have won. For which game? You're saying the Heimdall move shenanigan game? Kill a squirrel. Thank you. Up to use Grandmaster as a move from Miles in your decks with an upside. Miles is good for it, for sure. What do I get? You got Omega Red? Ooh! Let's go! So... Sentry wins this lane. I need a Sentry here. So I can Sentry here, a Nihilus here, and then basically hope for Cannonball here. Yeah, that's, that's basically all I got. We already snapped, okay. What? It's turn four, my brother. You're cooked. You just wasted my time. Played Grandmaster in a Magic Spectrum deck. It did very well. They never expect the double Spectrum buffs. Ooh, Redneck Viking. Are you running, like, do you play uh, some kind of energy cheat or a discount to go Spectrum Grandmaster on the same turn? Or do you just do it twice? But it's true, It's everything else is ongoing and the Grandmaster is only going to be able to hit the Spectrum. The double buffs, man. Brutal. Yeah, Sarah, and that would be spicy. We have a powerful forecast for Grandmaster already in the game. Stegron. True, true. Stegron can move the card away, and then you could Grandmaster it to move it mid, and then move that card back. Uh, imagine your diabolical plan coming into fruition. And then Sarah also benefits from the Spectrum buffs. It's so perfect. As long as magic, as long as Limbo survives, right? Put Mobius into every deck now? You probably should. Like, I don't love saying that, but you probably should do that. Ah. An eye for an eye and the whole world goes blind or something like that. I think that was Gandhi. I could also prevent you from drawing cards for the rest of the game, which is always funny, but probably not the most competitive. Even added Pixie when she dropped, and it was insane. I love that. My man, I run a Nihilus. Wanda forever, you must know this. We play each other. Do I want the Widow or do I want Debbie? 
I want Widow. I wonder why they gave us a gold pass if you can't buy anything with gold. <laughs> Except for the, yeah, this new gold bundle that's like the worst one of all time. I'm sitting, I have 22,000 gold and I can't do anything with it. I can obviously, I mean, I've gotten a few variants. I've never bought this many variants over like the last year. And here I am buying variants. It's wild. It's wild what they've done to us. Okay. I mean, you gotta hit him with the Annihilus here, I think. And then you roll into Annihilus Demon on the next turn. Like, that's, that's just what it is. You ready for a very disappointed opponent? I am. <laughs> it's kind of mean, but at the same time, like, yeah. He plays a Nihilus here, he goes to six. Um, nah, I still beat him. Playing Stegrod at this economy? <laughs> My man's waiting for his one hood variant to drop with 22,000. Yeah, I would. I would put that 22,000 gold on a hood variant if it showed up in the store. It's never shown up. Ugh. Still think of that kitty variant? That guy. I hope you get her. Ooh. How did we get all of these? What? Valkyrie? Not what I was expecting at all. The back, the Black Panther bundle is very bad. You should not get it. I do want one Blask. If only we could trade him. Underrated Valk. Roof. Underrated Valk, man. I guess I should have gone Cannonball. That would have been the dub. So weird to think moving a. Moving a negative three off the location would have been the dub for me, but hey. Also, it was actually the Widow's Bite that lost me the game because that filled in his uh, tiebreaker. Crazy stuff, mate. I get the hood for one of my Shangs. Okay. Deal. The Okoye and Nakia bundle, though, those variants are really good. If only it was for gold. If only they were good cards. That's what I was thinking. You're giving me banger bundles for cards that are not playable. I'm going to attack on left. Like, you're not going to have... You're not going to have any chance over there. And then it's Annie into Cannonball. Yeah. That's the move. Here we go. Hopgoblin mid, exactly. Hopgoblin mid is the way. We should have changed the song Fireball into Cannonball. That would be a fun promo. Would love variant trading between players. I mean, yeah, with like some kind of marketplace. Because then you could trade like your explicit splits of the cards like I could give you my noir um firework because you're collecting those and I actually just collect the uh I don't even have one here I just collect orbits but like I'm trying to collect all orbits of the same color or something so much potential you know do this do you blob Oh, 
put me in the clip. It's what we all wanted to see. What's this blob? What's this? Can't be moved? Well, I have a solution for you. the man nice rock you got there the very nice shiny rock you got there blob man down blob man down okay and we make this deck better this one not doing as hot 50% win rate, 6 and 6, neg 4 cubes. I mean, you guys have seen my, my snapping mistakes. I think the deck has potential. But, Junkhead, thank you for the follow, thank you. But, Hobgoblin is never landing. The... That might be the main thing, right? What if I just go... Polaris. Can we get Titania? Obviously it needs Hazmat. It does need Hazmat. You know what, Miyamoto? We ran Hazmat in this Sarah deck. Uh, there was a version of the deck you cut Kingpin, and you cut Spider-Man, and you run uh, Hazmat, Luke Cage. And it's, it works. It works perfectly well. We need more muscle. Yeah, but how? Is it Titania? Like, what's Celine doing? She's making me have a slightly bigger green goblin some of the time. So what if you were... Titania? Let me just do the art of the, um... The card trade. This it? 45 euros for a Groot emote? Yeah. They think the sub for her is Titania. They think this could be it. I'd sell your Pixel Hao Cow for 22,000 gold waiting for offers. Well, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I think this looks more promising than what it was. Especially the Polaris. The Polaris Cannonball Synergy is strong. Like, this is strong with this one. The Daredevil is fun. The Renslayer is, like, only for Green Goblet and Pro X, but that could be good enough, like, Pro X being flexible. Just put Nebula in every deck. That's true. Maybe we should just run Nebula instead of the Titania, you know? Put Hope in instead of Ravona. It could. It bloats out my three costs a little bit, but would be an option. Okay, but here we hit. Uh, Adelan messes it all up. Go Daredevil. Ren just for Green Goblin. No, and Pro X. My deck is not optimal. There is no Jeff. True, there's no Jeff. That is a grave mistake. We'll try to rectify the mistake. Interesting. Reshuffle. Oh, we got it. 
Nice, nice. You gotta go for it, right? The attack? Especially off of the Strange Academy potential reshuffle. I think if you have it, you have to play this. What about Polaris for Grandmaster? I just don't see what Grandmaster is going to do for me. Mm, he played Jeff. He does have a very flexible deck, so it makes sense. I like the Polaris too much to be able to, like, chunk up between Polaris debris... Green Goblin and Titania. To lock up one lane early to a winning position. And then Cannonball to be able to win the other lane, you know? Like, I see Polaris as core. Interesting. You're gonna move. You want to keep Jeff here, so that means that you go here. And then you are... One, two, three, four. We should be able to buff this zone. This is true. This is true. Do I want to put Hood here or here? If I put him here, he could end up at either position. Probably rather that he shows up over here because then I got to Nihilus him across. He's not moving Jeff now, so I could play him here without danger. Let's try it to get him all the way to the left. Why is there no Kang? That's why I'm losing exactly. Keep trying to fit in Grandmaster, but it never seems worth the slot. Yeah, my testing from him has not been great either, so. Yeah, well, he still ended up here. If you move the Jeff, you have to play something equivalent in cost or higher to keep the Ms. Marvel buff. Or I guess he could play a Nihilus here, right? A Nihilus here kind of ruins our day. He might have it. That's why I won't snap. If he snaps, we're gone. But if he wants to play it for two cubes, I'm okay with this. Yeah, Titania got some love with the animation. Which is a little bit better. Just realize Nebula has synergy with the Annie package. Just play her mid or left. Let them know that the void is coming. So then they don't play right. Yeah. Go for the debris into a tie destroy. Nope. Hmm. At one point off on a Nihilus. Tough. But do we actually want Nebula instead of Titania? I don't know, I feel like... Titania is pretty nice with the overall package. As well. Maybe it's the Pro X that's not like... If I cut Prof X, it could also cut Renslayer. Hmm. Well, we got the Annihilus and they got a Debris. So, that's nice to have. Another mirror. At least we have stuff to do early here. Ooh. Prox might be the way. Nico is solid. True, Nico is really good. Just like the most plug and play one cost in the game. That's, I got the debris back. Okay, so I knew my card. 
that's fine. Maybe I do this kind of number. I mean, they're probably going to play debris too. Like, this is going to turn into a nightmare, man. Nebula is great with the early Pro X. Yeah, if you could Nebula. Nebula into Renslayer into Pro X, right? It's like the line. Okay, now here's the thing. He might have yet another one. And we know he has the Annihilus. So. Does he have Sentry as well? If he has Sentry as well, I can trap him with the Pro X. Which would let me play something like this right now. I'm gonna call that he has the Sentry and try and gain initiative. Yeah, you gain initiative by playing here. And then you're gonna play Prof X and either Cannonball or Annihilus to end. Nope. Fascinating. What is this board? <laughs> I hear you like rocks. Plays mid. With Annihilus. This is his Annihilus, by the way. He's gonna throw the goblin over to me. Then I need to... Does he run Annihilus? Oh, sorry, does he run Eliath? Are you junk with Eliath? Or are you junk without Eliath? It makes a big difference for me now. And if my cannonball wins the game or not. I'll be able to destroy you and catch up nine points plus the demon play. <sighs> I could also... I don't know, the debris here has something because then it fills here and it attacks this and I could win this, but I'm losing this. May as well sentry? By sentry he could kill me with Shang. Well now we see if he has it or not. Some of the junk decks run the Elias some don't. Unless Cannonball left? Cannonball left would move a rock to the right. Would move a rock to the... It would just be on thinking that the Cannonball... Maybe Cannonball left would have been the move because Cannonball left would have put me at... 11? To be at 11 total power, I would have moved the rock. This one would have been destroyed. Okay, he only had Hobgoblin, so we win. Okay, well, we still got it. It would be trusting that the 11 power would hold, because then I could Annihilus to break the hood. If you ramp out a Galactus, then play Cannonball in his lane, would they turn into a rock? Yes, there's nowhere to move, so you would be able to get the rock. I heard you like rocks. The majority of your board will now be rocks. That's not what I meant. Titania, my old friend, I'm in need of you again. 
Is Cannonball worth some of the spotlight caches? Oh yeah. Especially because you got other really good cards in those caches. Ms. Marvelous. Kitty Pride. Brutal. Ha! <laughs> okay. Well. Why is my rank down if I win? It's a visual bug. It shows what happened, the cube change from the previous game. How am I doing with Shogun? Oh, I've not gotten to watch it yet. I started watching the, um, the second part of S2 of Invincible. Really good. They like took all of Invincible up to this point and it's like, ah, oh, this episode now is making it good. You thought it was good before? Just wait. Mm, this card is tough for us. This card doesn't care about junk on the board. They have all these scaling pieces. It's like a whole slew of problems. Try this. Probably, but what if Zabu went to Wong Debris Cannonball? <laughs> Zabu went to Wong Debris Cannonball? It would be pretty wild. You're saying Cannonball on uh, Wong, right? Like everything else is. Everything else is junked out. So I hear we pass. Dig through the ditches and burn through the witches. Slam in the back of my regular. Schmodok. Take that. I would still have to Annihilus to win that lane, but what if Annihilus lock him up Cannonball to win? Cannonball just wins here, right? Yeah, 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 we snap. Because you're not going to be able to affect the right lane, so I win that, and then I'm able to Cannonball on mid and win that. I guess Meek is movable? Is that actually dangerous for us? I don't think so. Meek is movable. Movable Meek, they call him. They once called him Movable Meek. We could alternatively play this move? Kill you? But I don't think that matters. Let's definitely load up this position. Play the Titania for margin of victory. I flip first, that'll destroy Proxima Midnight. Could bring Miko over, you have two cards in hand. One is Apoc. Apoc's 12, right? 12 plus 8, 20, I win. You have nothing that beats me. I'm at 21. We tried it. Yeah. Oh, but then he scales? No! Ah, the, the meek scales, the meek scales. Get out of here, mate. You're not clever. I had moved you and played. Yeah, I would have won on left. Dang it. Meek is too good. Meek is too good now. 
It is nice to see discard being a very solid deck, but it is quite frustrating because the ways that you counter it... Oh, this is... Hang on, Gwanda? Gwanda? Are you the Killmonger bounce deck? I think so. I think it is. Turn 5 Cannonball into turn 6 Absorb a Man Grandmaster. And just have Craven and Kingpin. No, 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 no. It's too much, it's too much. Okay, I don't mind. We played a Bounce Monger deck earlier and it was disgusting. Let's hit him with the Widow. Have I tried Wong Cannonball with Zola? Nope. I've tried good versions of the deck. So I could go Renslayer Hood, just roll the sentry and pray that we pick up the Annihilus. Let's try this. When I heard of the idea to nerf Dracula in a way that his ability works on turn 6 and out of the game end, kind of like that suggestion. Doesn't that murder him, though? I don't know. I feel like that murders him. Are you going to play Pro X? Both Daredevils, so we're blind. If I do this, I add 19. If you go with Pro X, you add 5, 6. You're also at 19. No, my minus one. I would be short. I would be just short. I could do this. And then hope that, like, Sentry Green Goblin wins. Sunny, thank you for this up. Thank you. I could also do, like, this. Because he has to play here, right? So then Pro X locks in the win. And we follow up with something big to be able to win ourselves. I could also cannonball to rip the nine out of the way, but I think I have to do this. All right, what was it? It was the Pro X, as we anticipated. I flip first. Goliath doesn't win. Shang doesn't win. We win. Shang plus something. Maybe Cannonball's better. Just because of the threat of like Shang plus something, right? What would be the worst case? Because he's already played his demon. It's like Shang Titania. Shang Titania. Martyr? Shang Titania Martyr. What a combo. If he had it. 13 power. But I would win because I'd be at 14. Play for our outs. Blob incoming. Eats 25 power of cards. Laughs. Laughs in Blob. Ah, he had the Jeff. Dang it. Of course he had the Jeff. Hmm. We probably should have played the demon over there. Captain Marvel was playable. Be very upset if you didn't have that variant. Yep. It's a great one. Jeff, Jeff actually just the best card. Yusuf, good to see you, man. Oh, ho, ho. 
I will. And before he has the same ideas, we are all just playing mirror matches here. Welcome, my friends, to Mirror Match Tuesdays, where the new card comes out and then the entire meta becomes one-dimensional. Oh. No. So dumb. I think I can win the other locations. I probably cannot. Escaped. Do you like the opponent's name? There are some very clever ones out there. This is the transform the cards location. It's probably pretty good for Black Widow and Debris here. seen so many move decks it's making me wonder what changed in the patch and I didn't check goblin left trust trust uh we move the dagger and then we just let the dagger buff by three oh Polaris had a plan that's crazy good okay well, if you want to come for the dagger, you're going to get stuck with the rocks. As I always say. Was there a new OTA? No. There was not. There you go. Enjoy Phoenix forcing the rock. <laughs> hey, here he's setting up the Phoenix Force. Here it comes. Wait for it, guys. Wait for it. Yeah, I think the OT is on Thursday, but I haven't gotten any forewarning of what's in it. Yep, here comes the, the Phoenix. Interesting, you could just say like, hey, you're not going to uh, get any value from the Phoenix. And then I could big Annihilus plus Demon to try and win. What does a Phoenix Force deck have if it's not able to use the Phoenix Force? Or I could trust in the 50-50 and use Annie here. The throw hood. I kind of like doing this. What are my thoughts on the imbalance patch lasting this long? I wish it was shorter. I do not like the imbalance patches in general. Oh, then we don't even get to know what he would have pulled. I'm gonna go all on over here. Or retreat. It's gonna snap. Okay. Got him. Victory. 
Yeah, they really... I like the idea of the imbalance patches, but I don't like them running quite as long as they do. What? Living Tribunal. Living Tribunal into a loss. What a move. Especially when I think like Heimdall mid would have won for him. Because it would have been 8-8. Eight to eight. This just in. And then margin of victory and he had a huge margin of victory on the other side. It's a beautiful thing. How's Cannonball feel so far? Very good. Very good. I love that. Here you go. Have a goblin. Go for the Polaris, pull the Mind Stone over. That locks it up pretty much. When I play the Annihilus later to kill the Hood. Yeah, we probably do this, this. I just hope they use this data to figure out which underperforming cards could get away with a buff. Yeah, I hope they add a card that kind of permanently plays with this idea. Alright, well now if they use Space Stone to open this location up, I just attack it with the Annihilus, the hood fills over, and we're in a beautiful spot, so. You snap on this. Unless Time Stone pull you... No, I flip first, so you can't even Eliath me. Did I think he would be good? I've been all over the place, Ghost. I'll be honest, before I understood some of the card interactions, I thought he was going to be the best card this season. Then I understood the War Machine and Mockingbird interactions, and I thought he was going to be the worst card this season. And now he's back to just being, like, pretty good. There we go. You had somebody win with a random Loving Tribunal last match in Conquest, so I'm glad that I got the win off of him. I'm glad too. That one was, uh, ended up being a little dicey. Techno Edis, great to see you back. We're still cruising. Cruising for a little bit longer here. I feel like this junk deck has been way less cannonball focused. Whereas earlier in the stream with Sarah, like, we were taking cubes because of cannonball. But yeah, he's been fun. And, um, we wrecked Blob. Well, don't worry, Techno Edits. The better version of the deck, anyway, is that Sarah one that we were playing. This junk version is still finding its stride. Whereas the Sarah one was just crushing from moment one. I'm gonna play you. And probably... I don't know about this with the Titania. And the fact that you pulled the Titania is just brutal. They got the Mockingbird. How is that fair? But hopefully he plays here. You are Thanos. You are Thanos. We'll do this. Into Annie. Okay. He fell for it. So. 
is Autodeck actually cracked the code? It was really good. Dang it, why would you pull the Jeff? The rock was right there. Hmm. Let's try this. I think we have to leave. What's the final ranking for Cannonball? Should you drop 6k tokens yet? I do really like him. Let's, um... Let's end this stream by going back to a little bit of that Sarah deck that was doing so well. Let's remember what we had cooking here. You know what? I'll keep Kingpin in it for a bit. I don't know if the Kingpin was the better version or not, but we also had a Hazmat Luke Cage variant. And then before that, we had like Armor something else. Yeah, but that's his thing. He played, he played Bluestone on right, so he could move Jeff and he could move Hope. Which would then put him at more than one of my cards going mid, and it, my card going mid would also have to survive Danger Room. And then he could just play a big card on left, and it was a whole thing. No Hope or Mockingbird or Kingpin? No problem. You just don't run Mockingbird, the Kingpin is replaced with Armor, and then the Hope is replaced with... Another three cost. Whatever you like. Should do fine. Oh, it's Patriot. You could always run Rogue for some ongoing hate. People don't always expect that. Fun. Let's play... Oh. Open to Mockingbird into Sarah into Brute Cannonball kind of thing. Yeah. This is good. Though I could, I could skip the Sarah and just say, hey, Spooderman, do your thing. Then play Brood, but I think the Sarah's a little better. I could go Sarah mid, or I could go Sarah left here. If I go Sarah left. Because if I go Sarah mid, I get 7 energy. You full pass? What the heck? I think it's worth pulling this week on your free-to-play account. Yes. Getting Ms. Marvel is, like, so, so good for you. You should definitely do that. So the broods multiply. Spider-Man will slide mid. And then the surfer will buff everything. Spider-Man with the buff should be as big or bigger than whatever he pulls mid. So 
especially because he's probably taking Ninja or the real Mr. Sinister. If he pulls the Cologne, that's a little disappointing, but I don't understand what that full pass was. Okay. Wasp. Gotcha. Victory. Boss man. I like Cannonball. I think he's good. All right. The Sarah deck stays winning. Almost wish I didn't get Cannonball and two poles. Now that Kitty variant will be teasing you for a week. I know, I know. Do you want to go back in and risk tokens or Kitty? Because then if you pull tokens, you're like, ah, I got to spend even more to make sure I get the Kitty. You want to see the game in my For You section? What's, th oh, right here. The Premium Mystery Pack. They think this is for me. $10. Ten dollar dollar bills. Was that Teddy Wife? No. Literally the same as you. We're the same, Techno Edit. They think we're the same. Took you three pulls for Cannonball. Missed Kitty. Ooh, tempted to get it. I would be too. See, I got Cannonball in one, so that kind of makes me feel like, yeah, you definitely just, like, let it roll. It offers you the same deal, only 1,200 gold instead of credit. I would take that. 1,200 gold, yes, please. I have 22,000 gold, remember? Okay. I like the idea of gaining tempo to then be able to use Polaris to mess up a destroy combo. So, let's play Brood here. Okay. The plan is working, kind of. The thing is, I don't. Which one is he going to destroy? Is he going to play Killmonger? If he plays Killmonger, it doesn't matter if I play the Polaris. So I guess we hold Polaris and we risk it. Good variant isn't real. It can't hurt me here. Oh, terrible. I think now I literally just have to retreat. Unless his Venom dies here. I mean, the problem is, as a destroyed deck, I don't know if he cares, but... This is why the deck, at one iteration, did have armor. If he snaps, I think I have to leave, but... Yeah, null. Null's gonna be too much, probably. There he is. What? <laughs> I'm processing. I'm processing. This is very good for Team Teddy. I'll tell you guys that much. This is maybe the best thing that's ever happened for Team Teddy. Yeah. Why? Just go mid. If you're gonna play it, just go mid. And then it's like the mind game on if you're gonna Zola or not. Maybe he misclicked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Take Your Time the benefit of the doubt and say that he misclicked, but he is helping pad the stats. He's... He's definitely pumping the stats on this Sarah deck. All right. Danger room came back around. 
the luck all evens out. Could be worse, it took you three keys to get Cannonball and then still didn't get the kitty. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, you got that Miss Marvel with the bubblegum. I didn't- I did not love that one. Okay. Okay. Took you four pulls for Miss Marvel literally every time on your filler play account. Yeah. This click is no excuse for the undo button. True, it's it's been updated now. I think we like hope here. Okay, so you've got hope. I've got debris. Rocks him up. Sarah. And then everything. Now, ah, of course. I wanted them to play something that wasn't repositionable. I don't know. Looks like her MCU counterpart. It does, it looks... I mean, it's a fine variant. There's other ones I like better, but... Nothing wrong with it. This guy's going all in on that Kitty Pride. I would almost not be surprised if he Kitty Shuried. Wow. So if I move the Magneto away, um, he's at nine. Yeah, he's at nine. I would be at seven, eight, nine, then 11, 12. Sounds like a plan, my man. Pull you, kick you, buff yous. I guess I could pull the Angela, but I hope I don't. Ugh. <laughs> Cannonball! Get out of here! Loop the loop. Crush it. Kingpin, crush it. Buff it. Victory. This is where Cannonball earns his metal. Do you keep going? Lloyd, do you want to be able to win like this? <laughs> this deck is... I mean... Here it is, guys. Do you keep going? 13 and 5, 72% win rate, 1.78 cubes a game. Do you keep going? The question is, do you like this deck? This deck is meta. If you don't like the deck, then, I mean, you don't have to push for it. If you like the deck, it will be good for you. Oh, the most insulting. You get the 1k tokens first. Yes, that's the worst. That's just like a smack. They give you the 1k tokens, so that matters. I won a neg minus 22 power deficit. Yep. I love you too, Max Jones. You're always in with a prayer with Cannonball. Last turn, Cannonball. Pretty good. Yes, he is. Yeah, I don't think Cannonball is a turn 5 play. And there's going to be situations, right? But most of the time, I don't think he is. All right, Finn. You're playing a normal deck. Normal, I mean, not Thanos. Given that half the meta seems to be Thanos. 
Mm, turn five over here. Okay. You're snapping on me. But I've shown Hope Summers and you've done nothing. Are you discard? I could debris. I could also wait to be able to get Sarah, right? That's probably a little bit better. So we can go... Iceman. And then I'd play like Brood over here. You know, this, this feels weird. I don't want to do that. So what I want to do is Sarah on four. Let's buy Debris on five. Maybe it's okay. Nico destroy and draw. Ah. Okay. You're Phoenix Force. Phoenix Force in the winds. Oh, but if I debris, I actually cannot play. True, true. No, I was going Sarah. That's what I was doing. I was doing Sarah. What am I talking about? Phoenix could still be a problem. Because Phoenix on Human Torch means that he plays Living Tribunal. And I don't think I'm going to be able to finagle a situation where Cannonball kills the Human Torch. But hey, if I can. If I can, I will. Let's see what we get. We'll do this for now. And then with infinite discounts. Nimrod. Fascinating. The Nimrod seems to say that he might not play the Living Tribunal, but if he plays the Living Tribunal, he's got me. He also only has one card in deck because he got the Nico to destroy and draw, which is like the perfect start for that deck. This is this is the um, the high roll for them. I mean, even if they're destroying this, they probably beat me. Even though I'm adding two, four, six, eight, to add eight, seventeen. It's not bad. I only had two mid. I had a bunch left. I'm winning left for sure, but I don't know if I win any other lanes. I think we have to leave. No click. Thank you for the sub. Thank you. Yeah, they go up to the 28 human torch, but if they move it left, then it goes up again. This is the wild one. I think the Nico destroy and draw into Human Torch is too good for us to stay. I don't. I don't think the deck is too good overall, but that combo is like run retreat watch. Once they showed that they had it, and we didn't really have an answer. I think this... Yep, this will be our last game. It'll take us to an even 20 games with this deck. And also to about an even 4 hours total on stream. Soulstone... Hope. 
Ah, kiln. Lovely, lovely. Um, Spider-Man is like savior. So I think it's like this. Because then I can get Spider-Man to guaranteed stick here. Let's see. Do you have call? Do you have call? I'm in trouble. You just go Mockingbird. Ping, ping. I'm down by three, but I can add four as long as I find my cards. All right, we'll do this. This way I put a rock here so we can't buff it and it's just all on surfer coming up. Oh dear. Okay. Surfer, you got me? Let's see what he's got. Jeff and Psylocke, that's tough. Can we even imagine snap in 10 years? Dude, snap in 10 years. It'd be so wild. What are we gonna pull? The Jeff? Uh, what a fantastic choice, Spider Man. I don't know why, but I thought Cannonball left the rock where the highest power card was moved from, Ghost. Yes, that was in the original data mine, but then was removed from his kit. He got nerfed pre release from the initial data mine. You could have Elias. You could have Blob. You could just fill with, like, Call and something else. Ah. If only I'd had Surfer. I could literally play Surfer mid so it would avoid the Elias and then I would just win the game. This sucks. Then it was still the best deck 10 years from now. Yeah, probably. I don't know if they have to do some kind of reset. Like, Magic and Hearthstone have not really done any major resets and have still have that longevity. Gwent didn't make it that far. Legends of Runeterra is what? Half that old? Or is... How old is Legends of Runeterra? Probably approaching. As long as you still get new cards and reworks and the, the core systems are good, I, I could see it hanging on. Let's just throw out debris here. Did Gwen shut down? No, but it's not nearly as popular as it used to be. I think you can still play Gwen. Man, what's with all these Phoenix Force decks? Oh... That is very nice for us. Not gonna lie. All right, Mockingbird, take your spot. Stops playing when they changed it to the third game. Yeah, Gwent went through like enormous revisions. You did that on three. Of course you had it on three as well, right? Why, why wouldn't you have it? It's the absolute nut, absolute nuts, man. Every time. So we'll do this. <laughs> sure. They'll debuff him a little bit, but he's still gonna be massive. Now he's at 10. Nimrod, sure. Okay. Now you can move, move again, win this lane. It's... Ah. They got no board space. I mean, I don't know. Cannonball. Top deck cannonball might give us a prayer. Cannonball only move one card if two are the same power, or all highest power cards. He only moves one. He will choose randomly, I believe, which one to move. 
Yep, and then Human Torch will move over and let's, Or just sit. I mean, you could just sit as well. Why would he want to move? There's no point in moving. I can do this, I can do this. No, that's just it's, it's foolishness. Margin of victory, we always die. I think I said, was I? I don't want to end on that game. Okay, one more. One more! And we'll see where it goes. Thing is that with Cannonball, like, he's such a cube stealer. Even if the win rate is not top. I know I'm falling into the one more turn trap. It just shows I love this game, man. I love this game. I'll go King Bin mid. Okay. Debris. Cannonball. Kingpin plays. Not convinced with all this gameplay, Augusto? We'll go Debris here. I mean, I'll show you the stats, even if you don't have time to watch the whole gameplay, but he's good. He's good and the decks are good. Probably play my Mockingbird right here. I want your cards off Strange Academy to move mid, so then Kingpin can ping them for free. I, um... Interesting. You could cannonball now. You could cannonball. If I cannonball now, I would move the Morbius one way or the other by Sarah now. Or probably Sarah... here? See what happens. Up, up, up. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ah, uh, man. You just Modoc and win, but this hand is so good. Forge into Brood into Surfer, are you kidding me? It's incredible. Three cards in hand. Like, this crushes. You know? I mean, that's not bad, but I don't think it wins. It's going to move the Morbius. If it moves the Morbius left, I'd have a chance. But I'm going to lose that lane anyway. If it moves it right, then it just kills me. Probably actually like brood into forge into surfer to have more power on mid. But I don't see how I keep up 
Once his Dracula pops. Escaped. Feel like he's spotlight good, not 6k good. You guys can be haters if you want. Good old rope. Rope snap. What's my favorite card? The hood. Love me the hood. Building Hyper War Machine. Okay. <clears throat> you think War Machine is going to release with a 1.2 cube gain? I don't know, man. Good to see they shake the meta like this up every few weeks. Yeah, I do love that part of it. I love this card back too. Okay, well, I wasn't going to have a chance to play Sarah anyway. I feel okay about that one. What's my least favorite deck to go up against? Hella? I just don't like her. Let's I think try this. War Machine card of the year calling it. Wow. We'll see. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. It'll be exciting to see. Mobius plus hope with blob is pretty disgusting, isn't it? Though... Brood probably wins Washington. But it's not like you're going to be able to win anything for me. Especially with Jeff moving around. If Jeff leaves. We go down seven. Twenty-six. You know what? Maybe there's something there. No, they play back. Interesting. Oh, with the Elias. Lieth man. Yep, everyone's favorite. Lieth into emote, exactly. That's what builds the faith in the community. <laughs> oh, here we go. Top 100 player. Nick to Greek Geek. How's it going, man? Great to have you around. Lurkin, or however you enjoy the stream. Mm, definitely forge into Brood here. Brood on Mojo. Ah, yes. Another one. 
Another Phoenix Force deck. And it just gets right into it. I don't have Miss Marvel, but you have Kitty. Is it good to open the box this week? Yes, Miss Marvel is definitely worth it. Very worth it. Let's see if we can slow him down a little here. Maybe Spider Man does something for us on repositioning the Human Torch into a losing lane. I don't know. It's worth a shot. Also, I guess this is where we find out if he has Phoenix Force. And he's still waiting. Duplicates of Venom. Big Venom. Next turn, he can play Nimrod. Okay, I kind of see where you're going with this. I want Tempo. So I think I play you here. Like, if you play Nimrod here, you don't gain initiative. If you play Nimrod here, you don't gain initiative. If you play Nimrod here... What, though? Right. I think that's kind of still what I have to do. Let's see what happens. Plays both. Feels much better with less spam bots recently. It does feel much better in terms of the spam bots. From when I started, it's miles ahead. Okay. So the point is that I don't think you can ever win Mojo World. I could throw random Spider-Man here. Human Torch probably has to leave. This way I have a chance to move the Human Torch somewhere. It would be mid. So then I would go like Kingpin Surfer. Or as you flip first. I can go Kingpin, Spider-Man, Surfer here, try and reposition this one. I think he can play you. No, I think I'll try this. <coughs> Zola? Such is my judgment. Oh. TLT. Interesting. Yep. 18ers. He's got me. Whoop. <laughs> Those tights. If Spider Man had gone right, we would have won. Ah, oh, if Spider Man had gone right, we would have won. Gladiator to Deathlock into a Phoenix Force deck on six, and then it killed three of their multiple men's in one lane. That's so good, Booter. That's so fun. Yeah, I'll play Forge. Forge right into Brood. You 
got Electra. Live from the Daily Bugle. And Odin. Good to know, good to know. I can surf her on five into Odin on six. Now we'll take that. Sounds very good to me. What do we want to do on turn four? Maybe hope? Maybe hope. There are no bots post-infinite, but this guy's... Looks like he's trying to play like one. Draw the whole deck, okay? Been seeing a lot of Electra lately? Yeah, and I have no idea why. It's so weird that she would be around. I can do this and this. I can do this and give myself seven energy. You're five. You're two. And I get to be a little bit more reactive. Maybe that's worth it. Maybe I just play Debris, because I know that will prevent him from being able to combo with his Odin. And then I go like Kingpin, and the expectation is last turn Mockingbird Surfer. Maybe that's actually what it is. So what was this? White Tiger? My guess is it was White Tiger. Pulling stones before Thanos gets Mockingbird out. You can try. Still feels like that deck does just fine. You know? I can play Mockingbird mid to get to 13, which wins. And then I can play Surfer to pump you by six. So I play you as well, right? No, then I can't play anything else. <coughs> hmm. I need to play here so that I take the lead in all positions. Exactly right. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, got him. Getting the rock down. That was the win. Okay. We can finally... I think we can finally call it. Final stats. Win rate tanked there at the end. It was said much higher earlier. Cube gain still fantastic. 1.2 average cubes for 25 games played. 56% win rate. Cannonball's the cube stealer. He's the reason that actually has very good cubes, even with a uh, average win rate. The junk deck still needs optimizing. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the drawing board on this one because I feel like there's something here. I'm just not finding it. But I love me the cannonball. I think he's definitely worth it. Day one verdict is he's worth. He felt better than I thought he was gonna feel. We got to kill Blob. We got to take four cubers, eight cubers with him popping off. We won a negative 22 point deficit lane with a with a final turn cannonball flip. So it's a really fun deck. Hope you guys are able to, if you pick him up, that you enjoy him. If you go for him, I hope that it doesn't cost too many caches. And I'll be seeing you guys at back for Can't Stop Snapping episode and War Machine.
All right, we'll peace out on the YouTube side and then we'll throw the raid on Twitch. See you guys.